Salty. Enthusiast, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 540. Sexiest podcast on a network. Pew, 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 pew. I, mean, I could play sound effects, but... Ah, nah, it's better. I handled it. You're it was right. I took, over, I took over gaffer duties for you for a minute there. You're right. <laughs> I see what I was was I was the um the gaffer for when we when it's like our gentler hour. Oh, I see. You know, we're trying not to assault it's people like, like who have spa lang- spa language or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Salty or relaxation some. lounge. <laughs> that sounds lewd Boy, as hell. Does it. <laughs> Salty relaxation. That's that's basically a new uh, happy yeah, ending exactly. term. Let our let our employees dirty their own knuckles while you relax <laughs> here at the Salty Lounge. Salty, oh, salty, salty. Yep. You got to have like pan flute music and shit. Oh, for sure. Oh, there's like videos like playing in it on the thing. It's like all relaxing, like pan flutes or harp music. And it's just like little cherubs and it's with our faces yeah, on them. It's got you like know? one of those, uh, <laughs> Those like Japanese bamboo things you see in the streams. It's like, shh, it's like the thing fills up with water, and goes, and then it's like, shh. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so relaxing. Yep. One of those like clacker things from like doctors' offices, but all of them are like my head. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd love to see that. Although I'll be honest, those little clacker things, I don't find those to be relaxing. I don't know if they're supposed to be. It was just a bit. It kind of builds up some shit. I want to start like throwing things around the room. Yeah. Rage. That's what it's for. <laughs> yeah. Rampage. Yeah. yeah. That's all right, though. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Indeed. Oh, man. Here we go again on a Monday. Yep. Believe that shit? Yep. Yeah. How's Brian? Better yeah. now. It's just a interesting end of the week weekend um yeah my mom's partner had a a doctor's appointment and uh then a little while like i i woke up and i was up for a little while and then i'm like it's like 4 30 5 o'clock and they weren't back yet and i'm like like well maybe they you know stopped and got something to eat and just you know whatever just moseying yeah you know and uh then you know my phone rings and it's my mom and she's like hey you know i'm at the hospital and i'm like fuzz a what you know and apparently he had a <clears throat> an infection in his foot or his toe and the doctor he went to was like yeah you need to go to the hospital i want them to you know run tests and everything because he's diabetic and whatnot so they want to make sure this isn't you know a big problem right. kind of a thing you know, he had to stay in the hospital a few days while they, you know, were treating it and stuff. He's home now. Everything seems to be, you know, on the mend. But it was, you know, it was a fun couple yeah, days. Sucks. Yeah, it was weird because the first night, like, my mom needed her medicine. So I had my sister take me up there and uh, I, my mom went back with, with him. And then I'm sitting there and I'm like, like, I'm just sitting here. Like, there's just nothing you know, on the TV is like a Hallmark Christmas movie that was, oh, God, was it horrible. Wait, I'm sure Neil and Annalise and loved it. Probably, <laughs> but oh, man, I can't, I just can't do it. It was funny, though, because about 10 minutes after she went back, uh, a couple dudes sat down. It looked like a guy in like his, I'm guessing teenage, I think it was his son. Right. And so we're all kind of just watching this movie and just, just different times. We just look at each other and didn't really say a whole lot, but we're just like, this is horrible. Like, what are we doing here? You know, the weirdest thing though, was the kid the whole time they were there and they were there for a good hour while I sat there. He didn't have a, either a, didn't have a phone on him or didn't pull it out and look at it once. Whoa. See, meanwhile, these are imposters. The dad, Those are aliens. I think what happened was they had a freaky Friday kind of thing because the dad literally had the phone glued to his face. Basically, that's how how much texting and stuff he was Bro, doing. You know, he must have a hot grinder profile or something. Must have, yeah. I, the downside was that he was also one of those people who didn't turn off the sound for oh, texts. Now, I don't mean the keyboard. I mean just every time he gets a text, it's. And I think it was like T-Mobile, so it made like that T-Mobile sound or whatever 
and I was like, I was like, it's like boom, 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 or something like that every time. And in my, and I was like, you know, I'm just kind of casually like trying to give him a little side eye, hoping he'll be like, oh shit, this is obnoxious. He didn't pick up on it. And, you know, I wasn't going to do any more than that because I ain't trying to like get my ass kicked in a hospital. I mean, it's a good place so, to get your ass kicked. Let's be real. I mean, yeah, it is, yeah. right? You know, like he stomps the shit out of me and they just cart me into the next yeah. room. <laughs> as long as you break his phone, that's all that matters. Yeah. Oh, that would have been the first move. Just bitch slap the phone right out exactly. of his hand. <laughs> like, like try to hook it into one of those aquariums some hospitals have. Yeah. Like, like, look, I'm probably going to get my ass handed to you. tank. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, they have a full size full aquarium. Size aquarium that's on the second floor. Crazy. Well, you know, like, one of my Twitter friends she posted a thing in her group the other day that there was a hospital that she was at, and they have like otters at the hospital. Why? Like they have a like like Are an they wearing, enclosure. Like, nurse outfits. That, that would, would be, be amazing. American. Like they came into the room and brought you your medicine, yeah, and exactly. you know they're just little helpers. No, no, it's yeah, that would be fantastic. You're right. Be hilarious, like they have like an an otter sanctuary in the fucking hospital. Yeah, and uh, she was like, "Do you have anything like that there?" And you know, all of us are like, "No, no. We, we live in civilization." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, "No, I, I, I wish." Was she I'm at like, a hospital, or is she just like out in the woods in a cabin and hallucinating? <laughs> It, maybe she thinks the zoo is a hospital. Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 in Australia. Oh, wow. I mean, things. Things are crazy yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, you, know? you have to keep the otters locked up because they'll probably knife people. It's Australia. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was, you know, still, it was just wild, though, when she said that because we're just like, what? And, like, she sent us pictures, you know? So we were, we we're like, all right. Uh, but no. Uh, I was like, uh, every hospital I've been in, it's just a hospital. There's nothing cool like that in any of them, right? you know? I don't know, maybe, maybe where she was at was maybe it was a children's hospital or something. Maybe they have them there so the kids could go down and kind of... the otter they want to eat? Well, yeah. It's like a lobster <laughs> tank, but for otters. <laughs> oh, man. Like, man, I can't wait to get me an, an otter roll <laughs> later. Mm, love a good otter roll. <laughs> Who doesn't, Bro, right? you ever had the otter bisque here? Mint. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Although, I mean, you know, I, I could see it being a cool idea, like like I said, for, you know, if you had kids in the hospital where they can, you know, like maybe go down and Until the otters have a escape. look-see. Yeah, so but, it turns into know, Planet of the Apes, but with otters. Yeah, but with otters, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> you damn dirty otter. Right, I have to change my gamer tag. Damn dirty yep, otter. they switch. The camera switches and it's just an otter. Like the one, I don't know if you've seen the video, the one like laying on its side, reaching into the bowl of food and just like scooping food into its face. It's fantastic. I'm not going to lie. I love a good otter video. I mean, them little ends of theirs, they they're hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've got a story about otters we'll get to Until later. Until but... you teach them how to fire weapons, then it's over. Right. Which is what I always yeah. do right away, of yeah, course. You give that little otter a scaled on AK, oh boy. <laughs> Everyone's in trouble. <laughs> How adorable, though. I mean, it would be it's cute. Nice and... I don't. I feel like it's not going to be very like har- harmful because of the scaling of the weapon. But unless you're just talking about now, see what I was thinking is you still give them the full size firearm, but you you know you know how like when people uh, are handicapped and they have to have like hand brakes and stuff installed in yeah. the car. Basically, it's that concept. We'll just rig a new system for the trigger and stuff so they can get their whole paw so around it's like the a peg leg. The, for yeah, a weapon. kind of. Right. Or they're just walking around looking like they're uh, Jesse Ventura in uh, Predator. Yes. Com- even you know, with wait. the hat and everything. Yeah, you know, Predator. You nailed right. it. I was like, wait, was that? I don't know why I was thinking it was Commando for a second there. And I was like, that's Got not that, right. like, right. outback hat on and big, big old, yeah. big old lip of <sighs> chaw. They just spit. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> Mow down the hospital. Just picturing an otter doing this oh, yeah. and them just badly dubbing, a, you know, a human voice over it. Because as far as I know, otters don't speak English. I mean, as far so. as I know, they don't either, but I don't know everything. Yeah. Just saying. Although I am on yeah. the internet with a microphone. We have explained right. it makes right. us experts. Yeah. Just saying. Hey, 
I'm 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 all for after I'm done recasting every TV show from the 80s with Mr. T in every role. Yeah. Uh, my next move is going to be to start recasting movies and TV shows with nothing but otters. I like it. <laughs> so, like Air Bud, but yeah. otters. You know, since I've seen videos of otters playing basketball already. I mean, that's fair. Like dunking. Sick. So all we got to do is just change the camera angle a little bit, you know, and have one rip in the backboard. <laughs> Or the rim yeah, off like the Shaq. backboard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna put put an otter on <laughs> head on Shaq's Hell. body. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. He can star in general commercials and everything. Oh, and Kazam. Yeah, boy, and Kazam. And Steel. Yeah. Have rap and album. Steel. Definitely. Yep, yep. And a video, video game. game. Let's not forget Shaq Fu. Yeah, I kinda want to, but you're right. <laughs> it, it, it had a cult following. It had something, right? Yeah, trying to go even. Yeah. Maybe. There it goes. Uh Tony's on fire. Ah, uh, hoping hope we might let me check my, my mic here. Oh yeah. Background noise canceling is the best. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Oh like man. It. But yeah, that's uh so yeah, that was that was my uh you know, a good chunk of the week was us just kinda Dealing with that. Yeah, that's a bummer, man. Is he, did he keep his yeah. toe? Oh, yes, which is, yeah, which is the biggest and best takeaway of the whole yeah. thing. There was no, you know, it, it hadn't gotten bad enough that that was a problem. It's like Army of Darkness. And the toe went bad, so we had to take it off. <laughs> Chainsaw. <Yep. laughs> As, you do. As you do. As you do, yeah. I mean, good mm-hmm. luck trying to take care of my toe of death. It'll kill everybody in the room. I I wouldn't take that thing on. I would send my army of, you know, freshly armed otters oh, at yeah. sure it maybe. You know, they'll crack it like it's an oyster on God their damn. belly. You know. <laughs> <Little rock. laughs> yep. Fucking sick. <laughs> if I could tra- if I could open don't... up an oyster restaurant and train otters to crack oysters and oh, take man. them to people or crack them at the table. That'd be yes. great. Can you imagine yeah. the money you could charge oh, for that God. because of the the, the yeah, gimmick? So much. I mean, I'm going to have to charge oh. a lot of money because the amount of, like, hit squads I got to send after PETA. Oh, oh no doubt. Yeah, yeah it's going to uh, be terrible be for sure. Yeah. But it'd be so adorable, though. Like, you know, one swims up next to your table because all the tables are, like, waterside. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like one of those sushi swims, restaurants, but with, a, like, a, yeah, like a lazy up. river going through it. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just see otters holding hands, you know, floating okay. around so they don't, you know, float away from their mate. Right. Yeah, it'd be so romantic. They look real close. You know? We're just handcuffed together. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, zip tie, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's all good. Yeah. Handcuffs, yeah. zip ties, all the same, right, bro? Right. <clears throat> Depends on your left leg kink, I, I guess. Mean, I guess. <laughs> uh, that'll be that'll be at the restaurant on the the salty relaxation spa. What the otters? You know, is, the otter yeah, jack, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know what the level of training they can have. They do have I feel like they have... Yeah, but I feel like there's claws on there, so I don't know. You well, may not true. want that uh, true. Wrapping, wrapping around things. Yeah. So, yeah. Good point. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, they might be able to, you know, get you going That's or something. True. Maybe. Yeah. And someone else comes in and finishes you off, I guess. I don't know. We'll work yeah, all those exactly. details out. We'll figure out some sort of animals to train. Right. <laughs> no. I feel like we're going to end up, at, like, we're just going to end up as a documentary, like Tiger King at the Hell way. Yeah. I'm already starting to pick out my outfits. Yeah. <laughs> this fall on Netflix, Otter Kings. <laughs> yes, the Otter King. We're both wearing, uh, well, one of us, you can't both be wearing, but one of us is wearing the, the Doc Antle hat, like you were saying before, like uh, uh, Jesse Ventura. Oh, hell yeah. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. The other one of us is dressed like Rerun. Because <laughs> why not? Because why not, yeah. I like it. <laughs> but in each scene, it changes. Yeah, there's always got to be some sort of like sitcom B character. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> uh, be awesome. Yeah. Like it was he, especially when you 
get into some real obscure shit. Like, like, you know, last like time he was on screen, he was dressed as a rerun. Now is he is he dressed as Cliff Clavin now? <laughs> What's going on here? I hear it gets real dark later. He's dressed like Dudley from different oh, strokes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh all, I don't like where this is going. Tub. <laughs> yeah. <Ugh. laughs> Cliff Clavin. Oh yeah, I gotta check in my uh we're not even like it wouldn't even be Cliff Clavin level. We'd just be like two of those guys that they never name that are always there though. Yes. You know, that, that are sitting not on the the L shape that we get that are hard side camera, but on the other sides of the bar, you know, but they're there every time. They may name them at some point in the show. Probably not though. They might. I don't know. Yeah, but it's gonna be like, you know, Ted from accounting or something stupid. Yeah. Right. You know. Right. And then, you know, one of us will be Lilith from Frasier at some point, you know, down the road. I mean, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, man. The funniest will be when you're dressed as Carla, but, you know. I mean, yes. <laughs> I, I need that, like, crazy, you know, curly wig, too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I also... Watched a terrible Christmas movie, and it's actually, in hindsight now, it it's kind of ill-timed to watch this movie as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. We watched Christmas Twister. Right. The movie was fucking terrible. It really had yeah. nothing to do with Christmas at all. <laughs> Except for the scene where they, like, the guy's daughter and her friend took a, got a picture of Santa Claus. Oh, well, then it's totally a Christmas movie now. Like, they skipped school to, you know, go hang out at the mall, and, you know, Santa yeah, had okay. teen girls on his lap. Well, as, as Santa, Santa does, does, I mean, through the day, it's ho-ho-hos all day. Ho, ho, you know? ho. But, yeah, dude, the, the movie... Really, really was, quick, was, dude. Yeah. Real quick. I've seen previews for at least two shows over the last few days. They had someone dressed as Santa and someone else making a ho reference to Santa. And I'm sitting there going, you know, I get it. It's funny. But at the same time, it's it's the lowest hanging uh, yes. fruit. Like, it's lazy, lazy. right? Like, it's really hack. Uh, extremely hack. Uh, yeah. Anyway. No, so. the movie's terrible. It's Next on. Year. I don't remember what we watched on Amazon Prime, maybe, or something. Right. It, like I said, really had nothing to do with Christmas. It was more of a global warming movie. But if you want to see some sh shit, I mean, ah, oh, special effects. <laughs> Oof. Perfect. Check this movie out. On the flip side, though, we did add all kinds of fun stuff to like our watch list on Shutter because they've got quite the Christmas selection. Oh, yeah. I bet. See, that's that's. Where if you're going to get me into Christmas movies, that's probably the best way is like, OK, there's a bunch of like terrible Christmas gore movies because it's either got to be that or it's got to be like Santa with muscles. Yeah. You know, it is on Amazon Prime, you, Brian. What? Fucking jingle all the way. Of course it you is. I'm watching one of the best soon. Christmas movies ever. Jingle, all jingle all the way. All the way. <laughs> oh, I was going to say just as long as you don't say the word two afterward. No, because I would never. I, I can't. I just can't bring myself yeah. to do it. Hard pass, bro. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but Christmas, I mean, obviously, oof, the actual Christmas twisters that happened. Good googly moogly. That's insane. Top top level special effects, I see. Harrison. Those ones, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if the year was 1904. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the shit movie I watched. I'm talking about the actual tornadoes. <laughs> Oh, that, yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah, those That's were insane. terrible. insane. Yeah. Hey, but global just... warming is a lie, man. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> when have we yeah, ever had apparently. tornado season in fucking December? <laughs> yeah, it right. Was 60 degrees over the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had our sliding door open for a while today. Yeah, it was, it's, been, it's been great. Oh, dude, and the, those fucking winds we got? Yeah. You know, Brian... They were saying the winds here, like uh, the, those those storms stretch from like pretty far south all the way up to into like I think the most northern spot was in Illinois. Right. 
is they tracked it. But over Lake Erie, they said there was winds of 70 miles an hour. 74 is a hurricane level wind. Say. We and th- that was hitting 70. Now, thank goodness it wasn't like on us, but there was a lot of wind damage even all the way up, like through a good stretch of oh, Ohio. Girl, you've been on my back you know? patio. You've enjoyed my fairy lights. Yep. You know those concrete posts, those like those planters yeah. I have with concrete and the the four by fours in them. Wind took yeah. them out. Oh you know, wow! Like shattered a bunch of my bulbs. Well, good thing those weren't load bearing. <laughs> yeah, really. It, it you know, took out my fire pit, like as it landed on it. Well, that's just I rude. I like, what the fuck, bro? Oh, I guess that's uh, you know that that's uh, Father Winter or whatever the fuck it is, like just stomping out the I summer. Because well, I I left like I looked at them a couple weeks ago. I'm like, I should take these down. I'm like, you know what? It's been so weird and mild. Like maybe we'll have a fire and we'll hang out here. So I'll just keep them up until like the snow's really here. And then yeah. nature's like, bitch. Yeah. Well, yeah, because like you mentioned, we it was sixty yeah. that day, and it was in the thirties that yeah, night. Because I, I, I when I woke up at like seven something to let the dogs outside, I opened up the door. and I was like, holy shit, it yeah. is so warm I, out here right now. Yeah, I went outside to something had gotten dropped off on the porch, you know, so I went out to get it and that was at like two o'clock in the afternoon, I think. And I'm like, eh, you know, it's pretty nice out right. here. And, um, I think my mom got home around, what was it? Uh, I was like say, seven and, you know, we went to grab something to eat and I'm like, I gotta put my coat on, like not a, a hoodie or, you know, just like a, a flannel or something. But it's like, I gotta put uh, my coat yeah, we, on. Yeah. Uh... Hell? I mean, <laughs> I could have been in shorts earlier. <laughs> we were going to uh, go to the lights before at you know the zoo because it's supposed yeah. to be so. Not, I'm glad we didn't. Well, we couldn't actually because all the tickets were sold out. Because COVID, you have to re- re- you know reserve spots. Oh, right. yeah. Um, <laughs> God, I'm dying. But we did actually, and I wish I would have. I was driving, so I couldn't really do much about it. But I wish I would have got video or pictures of this this stuff. But mm-hmm. Christy Brinkley driving right next to you in a Ferrari. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, we drove up to uh good old Brooklyn, Michigan, Brian. Yeah. No sleep till no then sleep though, to right? Brooklyn, Michigan. Because at the <laughs> Oh okay. uh, geez. I'm a fucking mess tonight. I know, jeez, right? Dude. Maybe I'm getting ill. I hope not. Another Beastie Boys thing. Ill Hell communication. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, up at uh, the Michigan International Speedway. Oh they do yeah, thing right. Night lights. Yeah, I saw a commercial for it's it today. Actually, cool. like on the weekends, yeah. it's like thirty bucks a car. You just go in. You just go into a building. It's just a series of night lights exactly. through the building. Look, if you put your hand over this one, it goes on. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this one's like Santa. Oh. <laughs> oh. This one's a bad signal. Ooh. Yeah. By the way, all three of the ones we've just named exist in this Hell household, yeah. I believe. So, That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the Batman one, of course. Well, is yeah, I mean, it's... does it put a little bat signal on the wall? It does. Dope. No, it doesn't. It just glows. Oh, see, but, that's yeah. not that. I know. Boo. Oh wait, it should project a bat signal up on the wall. It should. Mm. Yeah. It's like I, I've seen the little desktop bat signals, and apparently they don't project bat signals. It's like, what's the point? No, because if they did, I would have bought one. Because I saw, I, I, when I saw they made that, I was like, oh, I got to get one of those. And I was like, oh, it doesn't really doesn't project. Really do it shit. just lights up. Yeah. Um. No, so. well, the uh, the night lights, man. It's like thirty bucks a car. Mm. You know, and obviously, if you're going by yourself, it's kind of pricey. But for a car full of people, yeah. like whatever. And then mm. it's, I mean, we were driving around. You drive all over the property, and eventually, you do drive on the track, which is kind of cool. Nice. Yeah. Turn left. Yeah. Actually, but because I've been to a race, you're actually driving the wrong way on the track. I think about it. Huh. Yeah. But uh, I don't like. Did you get a little little rubbing, rubbing in while you're up there, man. I, dude. Train I want to because this car that was like four car lengths ahead of us, literally, because yeah. you know, like at the zoo and all these light things, they have the quote unquote animated lights. It's just like, yeah. you know, just different shit, like a ranger's flipping a hamburger to another one because a ranger's grilling, you know. Right, as they do, yeah. These people must have been taking videos. 
they would oh, right. stop their car and then just sit there, and then they would go again. I mean, <laughs> me and a bunch of other people were- eventually passed them. They're like kids. Get, we got to record this because we ain't coming yeah, back. Yeah, dude, it was horrible. <laughs> yeah, but besides sh- that, the whole thing was actually pretty cool. I'm actually surprised they don't have like a you know some rule about you know that you have to stay in single file and m- keep moving. The basically, the only rule is don't get out of your car. Oh dang! I was hoping you were going to say the only rule is there, there are is no rules. rules. I, mean, I think the best part it's about it, is, I, I do like going to the zoo. You know, I like seeing the lights. Yeah, and but the man, it's fucking yeah. cold. And the yeah. cool thing about this is, you're just in your car. You know, right. we have candy. We have you like movie theater the zoo, candy. Too. <laughs> you could do that at the zoo too. You just have to outrun the police. I mean, at some you're point, not probably. wrong. <laughs> I would love to drive my car across that bridge. Right. <laughs> yeah. No. It was uh, the night lights is pretty cool though. I, I I dig, and it was good for you know Michelle too because her her tender ankles she can't walk as much, as far as she used to without having to take a yeah. rest. So, right. You know, it was, it was yeah, good for her too. Good for that. Right. Yeah, we had fun. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. It was a it was a nice little nice little Christmas evening. I was wondering how it compared because you know like in the commercial, of course they're always going to brag it up of you know how it's the greatest thing ever basically, and I mean, uh, but it, it looks. You know, it looked pretty it, it nice was from the probably commercial. 10 minutes of driving, looking at lights before you even get to the ticket booth to pay. And then it's more driving and looking at lights. It was pretty hmm. cool. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny? Like <laughs> you, you're driving, looking at the lights, you get to the ticket booth and you're like, well, these ones out here are free. These must, you know, so it must be amazing. And there you pay and there's just yeah, nothing. That's actually the, end. <laughs> the only light you see then is the exit yeah. sign. <laughs> <laughs> get out. <laughs> That and we uh, we stopped at this um, Mexican spot for dinner before we went there in Tecumseh. Yeah. Man, well, the food was amazing, just saying. But uh, these mm-hmm. people at this table next to me, holy shit, hammered. Like, yeah. I, you know, I've never seen people drink margaritas like they're drinking water. It was insane. <laughs> yeah, oh my. it was a problem. I, I know I'm so now, glad they left. Curiosity, did you have one of the margaritas? I did not. Okay. Cause you know, like there's there's two dollar margaritas and then there's like normal price margaritas where a lot of times those like two dollar margaritas are basically well, no, like a drop big of margaritas. Ass margaritas. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. The fishbowl margaritas. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. They were Oof. big fucking and actually I, I I wasn't if it wasn't so far from home, because I do mm-hmm. like a margarita. This place does margarita yeah. flights. Oh and god! Like, oh, that actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, great idea. <laughs> Let's get them to go. You'll be all right. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Right? Hmm? As long as like, as long as you don't let the police catch you, it's not oh, illegal. Man, they, they were so hammered, and then, like the guy ordered another, and this guy barely he had a beanie. You know, some people wear beanies and just sitting on top of their head. Looks like a yeah, I always on want a baby to bottle. Yeah, I just want to slap him off. That's how he was wearing his hat. It's the same thing with like ball caps. Whenever I see somebody wearing a hat like that, I want to do the same thing. I just want to walk, just cuff them in the head. Take their hat off of a hammer, that classic line. Right. What I want to do is see if I can hit them hard enough that the hat will flip in the air and then land back on their head. Oh, very nice. You know, I I haven't been able to do it yet, but, you know, I'm I'm willing to keep trying. (laughs) I mean, you got to fight the good fight. Right, right. No, they... Like no no this will be hilarious. Like you tell their friends to get a get a camera out, right? You know, so this will be hilarious, and you just hit them as hard as you can. <laughs> no, the, the dude ordered one more giant margarita, and then they got Oof. their bills and such. And you, yeah, you remember Brian when we would like we would be at like Mommy Bay or something, and we it's time to go, oh, and then, like yeah. he would just house. His pint, his it'd be like a full pint yep. of beer and just down the hatch and it's gone. That's what yeah, this dude sure, did with his yeah. margarita. Oh man, he was just like, oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness! So just like, I'm like, holy shit! That's a legend. I was but like, still, I'm like, did you guys? Because it was you know Michelle and Leah. Please, and I. please tell me they were young at the, least. No, the one guy was young. The other ones were older. I don't know yeah. if they were like if it was a I family. I don't sure. know what was going on over there. 
I can't picture one of our brittle asses trying to drink like, you know, margarita like that before leaving, you no. know? I'd probably just die on the floor right no, there. But I was, I, you know, I told, I asked like Michelle and Liam, like, did you guys, did you see him just chug that margarita? And it just, Michelle's <laughs> like, yeah, I, I hope he's driving home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, fucking brutal. Nice. But yes, yeah. I agree completely. Yeah, it Yikes. was rough, buddy. I know, right? That's that's. I mean, the I I chugged about half of a margarita, like one of those big margaritas. I chugged about half before work one right. time, which was a terrible yeah, idea. Yeah, terrible idea. Because <laughs> yeah, I certainly didn't sober up before work. It was a good chunk of time before I was sober, but luckily I had some stuff to do in the office, so I kind of just you know sat for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Got my legs back, and then I was like, because, you know, there was other drinking involved as well. It wasn't just oh, yeah, the margarita. Yeah, of course. Lick, liquid but, lunch, uh, am I right? Uh, it, yeah, well, that was the other thing. It wasn't, actually, because I had eaten, like, you know, a whole steak dinner, too. Yeah, so, enough. you know. But, oof, what a terrible idea that was. So I can't imagine sitting there drinking a bunch of them and then slugging one down yeah, before you so, leave. God. So I guess I could, because, you know, there have been plenty of times where I've, you know, drank the end of a you know like an eight or nine or a ten percent or like and drank a good chunk of it but right before yeah, we left there's something about like like putting down a beer versus putting down a margarita yeah i, mean, I, I yeah i mean i guess I'll, i guess i will have to say i've had some margaritas that are pretty smooth and you could probably just house them yeah but i don't know man <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah whatever i guess I mean, one thing I certain, certainly wouldn't be doing that, too, is, you know, like if I had a double pour of whiskey. Right. There's no hell. I'm, I mean, unless it's like really cheap, then, I, you know, who cares if you shoot it? But if it's anything decent, it's like I, I, I'm not, you know, like I guess we're here for a few more minutes because I'm not just chugging uh, yeah. this. That's a terrible idea. I, I do have um, an inside line on some like cheap bourbon that apparently is tasty. And I okay. don't know how reputable this guy at Workwith's tastes are, but I—I I mean, I do respect him as a man. I—I I told you about a, a cheap bourbon. I, also, I asked another guy who is definitely knowledgeable about bourbon about that, and yeah. he said, if you yeah. buy that, you have to go up the ancient, ancient age. He's okay. like, ancient <laughs> age is kind of trash. Ancient, ancient age okay. is really good. <laughs> I just love that you have to just keep like they didn't have another descriptor. There was like I don't know, it's older, so ancient, it's ancient, ancient. ancient. Yeah. I guess I don't no, know. My my yeah. my buddy at work was telling me old forester. He says it's, it sounds like something you would like clean your I floor know. with. He says it's like a twenty dollar bottle, but it was one of these yeah. things where he was going to his buddy's house, and he he for the Michigan game, and he didn't want to bring like an ice bottle, you know. Yeah, but then he right. cracked into it. He's like, "Oh man, it's actually really good." And for twenty right. bucks, I got. Oh, that's right. It's in the basement. I, I meant to bring it up here. I got that little uh, barrel. And I, like, oh yeah, I'm trying right, to figure right. out what to put in it. I think I'm going to put that in it. And then I yeah, got that here, so I can just be like, Shh. How, "How convenient!" convenient. Right. Yeah. If you get some of that, I for sure oh, need yeah, to yeah. have a nip. Yeah. We'll, we'll, sure. we'll have a little. We'll have a thing. Because I'm always curious of, you know, like when somebody's like, oh, yeah, it's it's good, but, you know, it's a really cheap one. And you're just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've had that before. But, I mean, like, that monkey shoulder I got right there, that shit's yeah. pretty cheap. And, I I, I I mean, I have an empty bottle behind well, that almost they, empty bottle. <laughs> right. It's because they age that monkey shoulder in the, the in whiskey. In the monkeys. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to come out with my... Uh, my blended scotch whiskey called otter paws right and it's just blended meaning pouring in a blender yes <laughs> that's how it's, it's blended it's filtered not through the layers of otter paws <laughs> like just poured over their yeah. hands yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, adorable no, no, they're severed hey oh well less adorable still but still adorable because <laughs> <laughs> if you crop the photo right that's true that's true <laughs> I don't you know, know how you like how you how you make word. a fifty gallon drum full of otter paws look adorable, but uh, uh, listen, we'll, we'll get somebody in some amazing, Photoshop. Guys. Yeah, we'll make it. We'll make, make it, it happen. We'll be all right. Yep. Yikes! All right. Yep. 
<clears throat> oh man. I've really been like itching to play video games for some reason. And yeah. I just anytime like I, I did it happened to me yesterday. I fired up the old PlayStation. I just started like flipping through my library. Yeah. I just didn't I had nothing I wanted to play. I I keep running into that, but it's weird because it's like again, it's like I have all these games that I should yeah. play. But I do the same thing sometimes where I'm like, I don't feel like playing the normal stuff I play. It's like, ah, oh, let's flip through the library. And then you're just like, yeah, nah. that's exactly <laughs> it's exactly how it was. I was just like, ah. although uh, PlayStation uh, free games, one of them is Lego DC Supervillains. Yeah, I had sure already bought gonna that. Play that. that looks fun. I bought that at Christmas and I still haven't started it. And now it's free. Yeah, yeah, and I have, like, all the DLC for it, too, because it was dirt cheap at Christmas last year. Like, I think I paid six oh, bucks for the game. Yeah, why not, then? Yeah, and I think for the DLC, I think it was, like, another three or four dollars. Like, I, I have, like, ten bucks in the whole thing, so I'm not mad at it. I mean, you know, on one hand, I am, because it's, like, I never played right. it. You know, like, if I had bought it and played it across the year, I'd be like, eh, you know, what are you going to do, right? But, you know. The one that chaps my ass a little more is the other game. I forgot what it's called, but it, you only get like a partial thing of the game. Like if you want the story mode, you have to pay for oh, I, that. I'd even like look. I I always just yeah. kind of just add the library. Add the li- I don't even read what they are. Yeah, I can't remember which of the three well, that it I was. Mean, let me let me pull it up, Brian. All Here. right then. PlayStation. Oh man, I can't type. God damn. Well, the monkey paws. The monkey paws. You know what you need to do is uh, get some outer hands. I know, right? Be way easier to type because your whole, you know, your whole hand would almost, you know, cover a key. You right. You right. Be kind of weird trying to type sentences, Let's but see Let's see what you we know. got here. Uh, we got Godfall, the Challenger Edition. Oh no, like the space shuttle. Bro. That's the one. <laughs> no, 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 oh. no. Like we're not reliving that traumatic. Probably the first traumatic event of our childhood. Well, at least us, because we're old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like of our lives, the Challenger was probably the real first bit of trauma we I'm faced. Gonna find out more about Godfall. Okay, that's the game Is for it? sure, though. Online player yes. required. Ooh, vibration function required. Now <laughs> you can have up to three network players. Okay. Hunt for loot and don legendary armor and sets in his new looter slash for PlayStation 5. Wait, I have PlayStation 4. I think it's on 4 so. also because it, it be. gave me the option of downloading it. Usually it doesn't if it's a PlayStation 5. Usually it just says add to library. Oh, I see. Challenger edition is normally $15. Yeah. Huh. I think it's just yeah. the online play. And if you want the story... Story mode, you have to pay how much ever mm. extra. Yeah. Normally, when they give you a game through the PS Plus thing, you get the full game. And in fact, a lot of times you get like DLC yeah, with some know, of them right? too. What yeah. is this mortal shell? This that one I don't know. Cool. I didn't read. Test your sanity and resilience in a shattered world of mortal shell, a ruthless role-playing game where only those of superior awareness and instincts survive. Okay. All right. So what's the... What's, it doesn't really tell doesn't me tell anything me about the shit game. about this game. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. Test your sanity, spare no mercy, or survival demanding. What? So is this kind of like a Dark Souls knockoff? Might be. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't read anything on that one. I have no idea. Which is weird. I Obviously, the Lego one I knew about because when that came out, I was excited because you get to play as villains yeah, right? uh, in the DC universe, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Plus, all the Lego games are fun. Well, yeah. That's, that's you know, they're not I the saw it, and I was like, oh, ever. shit. Like, they're fun multiplayer games. The only one that I don't think is that fun for multiplayer is the uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah. Because only one of you can be Indiana Jones. Uh, that's true. So it's less Who's fun. Who's like short round? Yeah, basically you're just like random accessory characters from the movie who you know, like you you get to do, you know, like much like in the Batman one, how like if you're Robin, you have different abilities than Batman, but it's still like, but everybody wants to be, 
at least in the Star Wars one, you everybody can be a that's Jedi. True. You know, and it's like that's cool that everybody can unless, be a Jedi. One of you is not a Jedi, and the other has to be a droid or I something. Can be Indiana Jones's dad and just make fun of him the whole time. I would gladly yeah. do that for Junior. sure. Yeah, that There's would a Junior button. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'd be hitting yeah. the whole time. It's, dude, that's it. All four buttons we named on the, the, dog the control pad. Enough. They're all uh, just insults. Yes. <laughs> that's literally all he does is insulting. Hell, yes, it's been a while yeah. since I watched and the, you have to Indiana combo. Jones: Last Crusade. Well, yeah, I haven't seen that in a long, long time either. Now, if you could be like Indiana Jones and someone could play as you know face melty the Nazi, that'd be dope. Yeah, but there was, I, I'm trying to, like, I remember one of the boards where I think, like, one of you has a, like, the other person has a gun, and obviously Indiana Jones has his whip, and he's better at actual fighting, but there's certain things, like, certain characters, he, like, he can't kill because he doesn't have a gun, essentially, or something, like, they do make it to where you have to, Wait. you know, a, a, apply some strategery to it. He has a gun. I, you know, because it's the fucking best scene in or one of the best scenes in the movie right. is the the guy with the sword and he just shoots yeah. him. You know, um, but yeah, it's but they they're trying to put a handicap on one character and also make so make it to where the person who's stuck with playing Luigi like appreciate that they're stuck playing Luigi. Fair enough. You know, that's basically what's going on. It's you know you think about it. You know when we were kids and you would play Mario, everyone wants to be Mario. Right. Him and Luigi do the same exact thing, but everyone wants to be yeah, Mario. Until you go to later games, and Luigi does different shit. Well, Mario 2, it's different, yeah, because yeah, like all the characters had different stuff, and then from there, yeah. But like in the first Mario games that we got our hands on, it's like they did the same thing. Like, it didn't wants to be that matter. green turd? Yeah. <laughs> not me. <laughs> I'd rather sit here and not play. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so I would advise staying away from that. I haven't played any of the um, Jurassic Park ones, so I'm not 100% sure how those play as far as that multiplayer goes either. But all the like superhero ones are so much fun to play multiplayer, but like the Marvel one, because you can each be a superhero. Right. You know, Again, you don't have, hi, I'm Iron Man, and the other person has to be like, Pepper you know, Potts his driver. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I like you at least went somewhere near his level. I was just like some guy that cleans yeah, his jacket. It's, 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 someone gets to be Iron Man, <laughs> our person gets to be happy. It just yeah. drives his like, limo. Not <laughs> yeah, not even Jarvis, but yeah. happy. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, man. <laughs> like, okay, well, you're going to fly across the city. I guess I'll drive and see you there. You'll get there way before me because traffic. <laughs> yeah, <'Cause> traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you're in a suit that flies you across the place. But yeah, yeah, but yeah you know, I still have to drive your limo. What the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I guess I'll meet you there in what four hours or so. <laughs> Happy, meet me at the club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> like hours later, Happy comes in. You know, Tony's already shut the place down. Basically, you know, where the fuck have you been, you been bro? You like, so well, I had to, I had to get gas. And, you know, traffic on the 405 right now is insane. Uh, there was an accident. I could, you know. Yeah, Waze like, took me some crazy place. I, like, I think Thanos attacked the bridge. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> like, <laughs> Tony's like, oh, that's what the blinking light on my watch is like, for. Huh. Like, uh, next time I'll get that. Yeah, I'm sure they handled it. <laughs> that's fun. I'm sure Cap is busy. It's Friday night, you know. <laughs> Oh shit! He's probably doing a puzzle right now. A puzzle, yeah, so drinking his Ovaltine or he's something. Like, I'm know. gonna get nutty tonight and do this puzzle of that's no cool. border. Yeah, that's how he lives. That's right. Anyway, yeah, those will. I'm sure that'll be fun to play in multiplayer, oh, yeah. though. Oh, for yeah. show for show. I need to. I need to play that. It is. I want, the only thing I'll say also is those games can be a little frustrating in multiplayer because generally the first player controls the camera. Mm. So what you're saying is be the first player. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I'm saying. Because <laughs> I play it I'm as the second up player. You're it's, down, Brian. Especially if you're the more seasoned game player, right. you don't want to let the other person be the first player. Mm. 
because they're going to just be like roaming around. And well, it also depends. Cause like in the Lego games, there's the, here's the, here's how you beat the level. And then there's also all those little like destroying things, challenges, finding certain things. So it also depends on your gameplay style. If you're one that wants to go through everything, you definitely want to be the first player. If you're one that just is cool with advancing the story, See, then being second player is not my like... mood. I'll be honest. Cause sometimes I want to yeah. get all the loot. Sometimes I just want to just keep yeah. going. Well, when me and Jen would play like the Star Wars one, because you can freaking, you know, use the force and blow things up and, you know, throw your lightsabers and all that. Like, I'd be like, let's destroy everything. And she would want to explore, too. But I'm very much just like I'm using all the tricks, you right. know, winging my lightsaber around like an idiot, hitting like 15 guys, you know, with one throw and all this. <laughs> and, you know, she's over there just like hacking at it. <laughs> you know, like, I got this guy. He's like, no, no, use your lightsaber. Stop karate chopping. <laughs> Yeah, it, dude, that was actually basically a conversation we had. There was one where she was just walking up, hitting them, and I'm like, throw your lightsaber, mm -hmm. then they can't hit you. What is wrong <laughs> with you? And she's like, I can't get it, because I don't know if you've played, have you played the Star Wars it, one? It's been a while, but yeah. Like, you hold a button down, and then you can target multiples, Yeah, you know? Same Batman with like a batarang, you can do the same thing, and some of the other characters, you know. So it's like that's what it was is you're like doing that so you can th just throw your lightsaber and kill like three guys basically. And you know, I'm like, all right, let's move on. Like, I've done crushed over here, and then it's like, oh, you've you've hit two things, that's cool. Like, and I now I'm over here, and now, a lot of times I just turn around basically and just throw my lightsaber at whatever she was fighting. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm a I, you know, I. It, it didn't lead to fun for the two of us sometimes because I was, you know, basically it's like I'm becoming an asshole because I'm like, come on. You know? It's too bad you can't just walk her off the map and kill her. <laughs> I mean, you know, it comes down to it's like if you and I are playing this, it's just going to be chaos. We're crushing yeah. everything. You know, that's what we're doing. And I'm used to playing with people who play that way i'm not used to playing with someone who's more of a casual player i, mean, I can't i wish i could remember to you and i are you know like we're all business you know it's like let's get this shit handled i you can't know? remember what mario game we bought for the switch we really got to play it again we we're playing if the kids are you can play four player at the same time and it's one of those games where you could just you just want to murder your teammates oh, because right. like if one person advances too far you might drop off the map Oh, I know what game you you're can, talking like, about, you but can, I can't. Like, if someone jumps, you can hit them, and they can go flying, or you can jump on top of them, or you can grab yeah. them and throw them and shit. Right, because the whole point of it is you're supposed to work but together. But sometimes it's so chaotic, board. it's just like shit right. goes sideways fast. Because I remember you talking about that, because I remember seeing the commercial, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. You can, because, you know, in the other Mario games, the co-op was, like, how was it? There was the one on, what was it, the Wii, I think it was, where if you were Luigi, all you could basically do was collect stars. Sick. You could really not do much else. Luigi, you and piece it was of like, shit. Go grab that star. Yeah, be basically there were times Jen would be playing the game and she'd be like, Hey, can you come be Luigi for a minute, basically? Because there'd be things she hit you like you need to do one thing while collecting the stars. Right. And with two people, it's easy. With one person, it's really hard. So I'd be like, Yeah, walk over, pick up the controller. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, there you go, and go back to what I was doing. All right. And you know, it's like, and we're done. It's like, what's this? This is not fun for someone else. Like, unless maybe you had like a little kid that's just learning games kind of right. a thing to where it's like, well, you can't hurt what I'm doing in the game. And then they still feel like they're playing. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But otherwise, it's like, yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a grown up man. I, I I've been playing video games since I was a little children's. I need more than this to engage yeah, me. Like, in. <laughs> I, I am a savage when it comes to games. Yeah. Savage. Like, let me. Let me kick some mushrooms around or something or some Goombas around or something. I mean, give me, give me something other than collecting stars. Right. <sighs> but that's why I said like the, the, like even in the Batman games and stuff, like there's areas, I think like in the Batman one, there's like areas that Robin can access that Batman can't cause Batman's a grown ass man and Robin's, you know, a boy in underwear. Right. So you can, you know, you earl him up real good and he just slides in different areas and, you know, roll them up. As you do with your <laughs> with your boy ward, you know. Hell yeah, you gotta grease him up. <laughs> grease him up. Smack him know? on his ass. <laughs> I just had a Simpsons that episode with uh Willie where he just tears off his clothes and he's like, Grease me up, Grease me up. 
<laughs> you got Neil Lard. <laughs> oh, shit. I love it. Speaking of, I got to bring up to the people listening, which was, I sent you a picture of it the other day, but uh, they finally put out in The Simpsons, which I I only own two Simpsons pops. Right. And the Simpsons pops that I own are Homer in a Moo Moo and Stupid Sexy Flanders now. Because as soon as I saw they were making Stupid Sexy Flanders, I was like, well, I have to get one of those because it's Stupid Sexy uh, Flanders. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was quite, quite happy to get those. Because the only other one that I really would love to have, I mean, there's a few that they made. Like, I wanted to get Mr. Plow and a few others I never got. <laughs> I mean, that would but, be a good one. Um, the one I want really bad is I want them to make an evil Homer where he's dancing on the grave of uh, good Homer. Yeah, What's I the I am evil Homer. I have a McFarlane figure of it, but I want... I would love for them to make like a pop place out of the evil Homer yeah, dancing evil Homer on would be cool. Or just evil Homer yeah, in general. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Or the plow yeah. king. They made the plow oh, king. Did they? Shit. Yeah. They've made quite a few of the Simpsons figures already. Um, you know, but yeah, I just, there's a lot of them that like from the front, they, they look a little weird because they're animated. Like it's like the Family Guy ones from the front and stuff. They don't quite look right. You got to turn them to the so side. I never, yeah, I didn't. I didn't get into them a whole lot, you know. And that's where like, um, Sexy Flanders comes in because you know. Yeah. He's and I love like the pose is perfect too. Like he's even you know like showing off his ass like he does in the. I mean, you <laughs> have episode. to. Yeah, it's pretty pretty strong, uh, figure. Stupid Sexy Flanders. And I love too that they actually named it "Stupid Sexy Flanders." It's not like Flanders in ski suit or some dumb shit like that, you know. And they're pretty good about that, and I'm, that makes yeah. me happy because now every time I look at it, I see it says "Stupid, Stupid Sexy, Sexy Flanders. Flanders." I mean, if they didn't name it that, they, they're doing it wrong. Oh, it's so disappointing, it's right? Super disappointing. But it's like look at the like um, from uh, Thor from the one Avengers movie. You know, it's Bro Thor or whatever yeah. it is. It's you know, fat Thor yes. or dude, I think is what they call it or something like that. And it's like, dude, it's fat, fat Thor. Thor. Just, just, call it. yeah, just accept it. Yeah. We all love him. It's not, we're not shaming him. We all love fat Thor. He's yeah, great for sure. But just call him fat, fat Thor. Thor. Yeah. Fattest Thorist. Yeah. yeah. His head's like, a. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of an Asgardian animal. So, um, out of luck here. Yeah, same. You know, yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 With the funny books and such. Speaking of funny books, have you uh have you started watching Hawkeye? I have not. God damn I know. It. I'm a piece of shit, Brian. I will say this. I'm I'm really digging it. I think it's a, re- a pretty I good show. It's gonna be good. It's I actually give a shit about watching Hawkeye. It also really helps that I loved that run um that matt fraction and david oh shit what's his last name aja i think it is uh did and the um the graphic styling of it is so cool in the book but like the covers i loved and stuff but they're the post the post episode scenes because up through what are we through four of six have aired um through these there's no post credit scene Apparently there was supposed to be one in episode four, but it got cut. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, but, um, the, the post, the, the end credit scenes are all done in the style of that artist. Now, after Dev pointed out to me, cause I was like, why are people tanking the reviews for this? I didn't realize apparently Matt Fraction, the writer of that run is was brought on as a creative consultant for the show. Cause he's like, he knows somebody who's friends with the director or something. Right. And they brought him in and the artist of that run, who's the co-creator of, you know, like pizza, the dog and, uh, or pizza dog, not pizza, the dog, <laughs> pizza dog. I mean, I like pizza, the dog, <laughs> pizza dog. Um, but you know, and echo and, uh, whatever i think but anyway they're uh he's he didn't get paid anything extra 
and they're basically using even if it's not his ex- his art exactly it's straight up his oh, style geez. and it feels like they should throw a couple throw extra a shekels, shekels his, way. his way for sure or, or at least you know like you know i believe he's i think he's credited but i feel like they should throw him a few extra pennies for for the artwork cuz it does kind of feel like they're using his artwork and not paying him for it and that feels really shitty right. Now I don't know since the show started. I don't know if they've resolved that or not. I would hope they do because seriously, just throw the guy some extra money. Yeah, right. You know, just call up, you know, call up the Disney lawyers, tell him to, you know, open up Scrooge's uh vault, you know, and just let him go yeah, take a handful I mean, of coins out. I think out. I could be wrong. I think Disney's probably got plenty of cash. <laughs> I've heard I've heard rumors yeah. that they're doing okay. Yeah. Maybe. Could be wrong. Maybe. Yeah. Ugh. But yeah. Like I said, hopefully. No, I have not watched it. I I've, I've been just watching shit movies and Sopranos. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Basically. All right. I was looking looking to see if there's any sort of an update, but the the newest posts I see are still from November, and those are all, you know, like he's literally like accusing them of stealing his artwork essentially because I mean they did. I, there's, if you see his artwork, like the I'm covers of the book and different, there's a side by side out there. I would think so. And if you look up his work and then you look his, his work is he's that run was one of those, like there's certain graphic design elements that like in comic books for a long time, it was like, these are comics, but now I've noticed there's a lot more graphic design leaking into comics over the last, I don't know, 10 years. Right. right? To where there feels like there's a lot more like spatial design color choices. Aren't just like, well, this is the color it is but some books will have like a tint over the whole book for a certain thing or one character like Disney used to do with like their, their, uh, uh, their heroine or hero in a movie. Usually they're a brighter color than everything else. So they really pop off the screen or the villain will, um, guy just saw a thing earlier today. Most of Disney's villains have sharp angular features versus the heroes have more soft and round Mm -hmm. features. Right. Like these are all just, you know, that that's illustration stuff, too. But it's also very graphic design. It's very emotional. And you're you're deliberately it's very cerebral. That's the word I'm looking for. And this guy's art, man, like when I first saw those covers, they just jumped at me, you know, because and I was like, these stand out on the stand with all the other covers. Right. You know, with all the other books out there. I mean, it's hard for me to get a side by side on our video because, you know. The, the format of this website. But yeah, right. you can see it. Yeah. Especially with the arrow, like, yeah. in the background there. And, yeah. Right. Well, and, and the logo that they've done. Uh, I, well, in fairness, I don't know if he designed the logo. Mm. Because, you know, sometimes they do bring in a graphic designer for the logo design. Right. That's separate from, you know, just like the letterer is usually separate. You know, like each kind of step sometimes has its own. Uh, creator, but that logo from that run is the exact logo they're using basically for the show, right. and very much like even the the pictures I saw of like the costumes that they're gonna be wearing at some point very soon are very very reminiscent of the ones in the comics. And again, he drew them, he created them or co-created, let's say, because you know it really is a co-creation between the writer and the artist, right. Yeah, I, they they really should give him more than just a little credit there. They for the art that they're using of his, they really should throw him some extra cash. Shekels, Brian. Yeah, yep. Shekels. But having said all that, I really do dig the show. Like I said, it's 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 been pretty good. So, well, I definitely need to watch excited. it. It's only, I mean, I still need to watch only Shang-Chi. Two I need to watch Black Widow. It's all kinds of shit I need to watch, yes, bro. Here. I I need to watch those too. I haven't. Yeah. Watched you those yet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. Time, time, yeah. my guy. 
It's on your side, I hear. No. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Ah, uh, shit. Ugh. Anyway. You know, it's weird, like, you know, we talk about, like, um, watching stuff. Like, I haven't... I was trying to think, like, what else I've watched this week. I watched Hawkeye. Um, Squidbillies came to an end last night. I watched the last couple episodes of that, which, you know, was a little bittersweet because it's a show I've always kind of you know, giggle that right. pretty, pretty much. Um, you know, and that that's over now, although, you know, I'm sure they'll still show reruns here and there and whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I almost said comedy central Jeez, adult swim tends to do. Um, what else have I seen? I, I, I don't really think I've watched much this week. I think I've actually, Oh, you know what? I haven't because my data cap has been, or my data is getting it's inching closer. Yeah, because going back to video games for a minute, it was like, was it a week or so ago? I saw there was a Madden update, and I'm like, oh, whatever. Yeah, dude, it's 32 gigs. Damn. For Madden. And I'm like, I think I mentioned it before, but it's like, I still haven't downloaded it. I mean, I don't believe you. But the part that sucks is I can't really play the game until I download the update. It's You know, it's like, this sucks, yeah. man. You know? I'm not playing online. I'm not playing the Madden Ultimate stuff. Like I just play franchise mode. That's it. So unless any of this pertains to it, it's like it, it sucks. I there was. Uh, did you see? Um, I think it's like Assassin's Creed Valhalla has like a a big update, and um, I think they actually said like you have to remove it to install. Like the new version, basically, kind of a thing, to where you know you actually have to like delete the game off your really system. Not if, from what I read, not in the way of like Call of Duty where it replaced it to where you had to have that massive amount yeah. of space, you know, but it, that you would actually have to delete it and then download the, the game and the new version would be out. And like, obviously, you wouldn't delete your files. You just delete the core game, you know, right. but that's always scary because you just never that's, know. That's pretty wild, you know? though. And that's going to be a big fucking download because yeah. you're going to have to download the game and whatever extra. Uh, yeah, right? You know? So I, I I was like, yeah, they got to get this squared away because this yeah, is like insanity. Settle man. down, people. Either that or they need to do the <laughs> old thing that's always been kicked around is make internet a utility. Yeah. You yeah. Because it really is. I've, I've now, and I think, I was thinking about it the other day. I think that's a, in ways part of what's kind of kept me away from some video games like that Elden Ring that's coming out in what January or February it's like yeah it looks pretty dope it looks like a game I might enjoy but it's like that's going to be a huge download right even if I go buy the physical copy it's probably going to be you know because you always had that day one fix right and then you know there's going to be DLC for it down the road and it's like man and along with any other patches that come out and that's an open world game so you know there's going to be patches because those are always glitchy, always. you know, it's like, <sighs> you know, like, and same with any of the other games for like the, you know, the PS plus and all that kind of stuff. It's like, you know, if I, I I've kind of hit a point that it's like, unless like I get a hold of you and I'm like, Hey, can I come over to your house for a while? Download a shit ton of games, like buy another external Which hard drive. Always an option. I'm just saying. Right. You know, get a giant hard drive and just download like crazy while I'm at your place or something like that, or just, you know, kind of a thing. Like, you know what I mean? It's like a lot of these games, it's like, I'm never going to play these at the rate it is because of my, my yeah. data. It, it sucks. Suck. You know? It's, uh, it and it also, shit. it also, is, it's also keeping me from buying games. Right. Cause it's like, well, I'm not going to go buy a bunch of games because I got to keep downloading all this shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know? Also, it really sucks when like Madden the other night, I'm like, Oh, I'm going to play some Madden. And it's like, Oh, there's a 32 gig update. That's going to take days to download. <laughs> <laughs> Literal days. I can't play this game tonight. And it was like, all right. So I, I just threw in the previous year because I still have it. I mean, so, also, to be fair, you know, it doesn't help that we really don't have quality internet where we live. Like, yeah, I mean, that's true, too. Not, like, my internet I get, it's not bad. But, yeah. like, well, you talk to our, like, our, our buddy Garrett who lives on the West Coast. Blazing yeah. speeds. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying. Yep. I know. Agreed. Yeah. That would certainly help. <sighs> I guess I just need to 
I just guess I just need to go uh, live where I can piggyback on Garrett. Damn internet. right. You hear that, buddy? We're coming. <laughs> Actually, yep. we're, we're Road- recording in the car right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. If you hear a gentle knocking on your door, don't be alarmed. Well, be alarmed. Be super but... alarmed. Yeah, actually, be very yeah. alarmed. Yeah. In fact, I'd just call the police. <laughs> yes. <I> would... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't answer the door. Yeah. Oh, just... You know what? I thought you just mentioned that. Calling the police. I don't know why I made me think of it. I did watch a decent Christmas movie over the weekend. Really? And the only reason I watched it is because it's a Robin Williams movie that I've never heard of. Christmas movie that's a Robin Williams it's movie? It's called huh? A Very, or, or it was Merry Friggin' Christmas. Really, I have not I know, heard of that. Right? I was just like, we we're. I was looking at the. Ho- of course, my mouse fucked up on me again. I was looking at the uh, holiday, uh, whatever, you mm. know, thing tab. Yeah, and it's like uh, him and Joel McHale. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember ever hearing I know, of that. Right now, it's like I don't know if it's one of Robin Williams' last movies he did. Or yeah. something because I don't remember. I can't remember how long it's been since he's uh, passed on. Yeah, I don't remember. Yet. It's been a while, but, but it was it was not... actually a, a, a decent movie. A merry friggin' Christmas. There it is from 2014. It says, "A merry friggin' Christmas." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starring Joel McHale and. Uh... Yeah, because I was like, I was like, holy shit, is that Rival Williams? And then, I, like, I started looking around. I was like, oh, Joel McHale, Candace Bergen's in it. That's really interesting. If you look at the, um, like, the ad box for it, it's very uh, Vertigo. Oh yeah. Like the the font and in the way that's designed has a very Vertigo feel yeah, to right. it. I wonder if that's. I'm sure it's on purpose, but I wonder why that's on purpose. Yeah, like I wonder if it's on purpose. No, it's just. Yeah, well, I mean, Completely. I'm not. I'm not it's, saying it's, it's the best Christmas movie I've ever watched, but it was yeah. entertaining. I mean, Oliver Platt plays Hobo Santa. Uh, yes, in he it. does. Wow, Joel McHale's character is Boyd Mitchler. Yes. Well, his father's name <laughs> is Mitch Mitchler. <laughs> <laughs> of, of course, why would it be? Oh, man, Jeffrey Tambor is in it. Yeah, it's got quite a few. Uh, the guy who plays the uh, energy yep. vampire. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Uh, fun pretty movie. good names. I was looking for the synopsis. There we go. Boyd Mitchler and his family must spend Christmas with his estranged family of misfits. Upon realizing he left all his son's gifts at home, he hits the road with his dad in an attempt to make the eight-hour round trip before sunrise. And I'm sure you know, and hilarity Hijinks slash and sue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of. It was kind of because honestly, Rob Williams plays kind of an asshole. And right. it was interesting to see that because, you know, he's kind of like that yeah. gruff dad who just doesn't give a shit, like smoking cigars and drinking whiskey. and yeah. Right. It, it must have been one of his last movies because he died in 2014, according to this. And they says in the credits, it actually says dedicated to, yeah. you know, Robin Williams and whatnot. So, yeah, and it was released in 2014. So it must have been one of one of his final movies. Wow. I don't know how I never, never heard of it, especially like I said, it's got a decent list of people in it and stuff too. So all right. I'm looking for the, there it is. 5.1 is the rating on uh, IMDb. How dare people. They used to have rotten tomato scores, but they redesigned the site and everything's not what I'm used to. to. So yeah. 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 Good stuff. Yeah. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a link to this IMDb, Brian. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, you already got it. Then I won't yeah, send it to it. you. Ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I was looking to see if there was. You know, a lot of times there's like trivia or whatever. I was trying to see if in the trivia, like if anyone mentioned the, um, you know the the design of the box. All right. Because, like I said, it it feels very. Uh, vertigo with that design not not it doesn't have like a vertigo design but it's like the font and stuff like oh, i said yeah. are very much once you said that i was like oh yeah look at that yeah. and with the stark redness instead of just all orange 
on the box for vertigo basically you know because that's orange and white and this is red and white it's i mean i know that's a christmas color but it's just yeah. even the way the tree is designed it just has a yeah anyway anywho yeah. so that it says apparently it says in tribute to robin williams the movie was recut but it doesn't say like what like if or maybe they just put in the uh, maybe they put in a couple more I scenes mean, there or something was like honestly a, a couple scenes where I was like, I don't know if that's Robin Williams, like some flashback oh. scenes and stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. But it was that's definitely his voice. Like, so I kind of wonder if they just took old cuts and then this, you know, maybe it's a stunt double yeah. or something like stunt that. Dick. Stunt dick. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Where was this? Was this on Amazon? I assume you watched it. Yeah, I mean, because I got the you know fucking oh, yeah. sick ass Head Fire beat. TV. It's basically it just gives you all the options on the homepage. So oh, right. I think yeah, I watched well, it on Amazon. Well, when I'm looking at the watch options here, the first one that pops up, is, well, it should be, but uh, Pluto TV, Prime Video, and Tubi. Fucking Tubi. Yeah. So yeah, I would assume that's probably where you watched it. Anyway, all right. Well, maybe I'll have yeah, to check it out. Have a look at that at some point. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but you know what I really want right now? Oh. It's um, not going to happen. Oh, I want a cigar. God, that's so oh. Good. <laughs> My guess was old fashioned, so that I was, also you know. sounds good. And actually, I, I was that. In... No, I don't have any oranges. Never mind. I was like, I could make that. I have everything I need. I don't have oranges. I mean... I have oranges, but I don't, have, and I have whiskey, but I don't have the bitters and the bitters. cherries. You know what needs to happen is we need to like form like Voltron. Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Old fashion. <laughs> it just makes like one big drink. And I'll form <laughs> the booze. <laughs> you know how like sometimes they'll put the cherries in like one of those little like not a sword, but you know like the toothpick kind of looking yes. thing. That'll the uh, the sword that will make. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, really could go for an old fashioned. Yeah, that sounds really good, doesn't it? <sighs> Sigh. Did you um, speaking of TV shows and whatnot, did you see Netflix canceled Cowboy Bebop? I did. I, I mean, I never, I haven't watched it, so I don't know if that's a good yeah. thing or a bad thing. I, 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 I still haven't finished the season, but I, I liked what I had watched of it, but. I with all the people shitting on it like it was, I was like, "There's no way that gets a second season." Right. I just couldn't believe it would, you know, which is a shame. Indeed. But whatever, you know, can't do can't do much about it. So, oh, I forgot to tell you. So, you know, I've been bitching about my charging cable situation for ever. Like every time I get one, you know, they they always shit out and blah Indeed. blah blah. So I fu- the other day, Amazon's deal of the day was like. Uh, it's like a $40 cordless charger nice. and it was like 13 bucks. And I'm like, yep. And I should have ordered two. I don't know why I just so ordered Ryan, one. I should have. You're two. joining the wireless revolution. But it's so nice. I have, have it right by my bed so I can just Does like. Does it have the little cup to put your ear pods to? AirPods? No, oh. unfortunately, but, um, but it does have the option to where I can turn it horizontally. Turn some so bit sideways. <laughs> Yeah, so if I want to watch something, I could put it on the thing to charge and watch something at the same time. But right. I'm just using it to charge stuff because, you know, and it charges fairly quick. Oh, so so I'm, high I'm speed enjoying it. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, and it doesn't get real hot. And my, one of <laughs> my favorite things was like when I looked at, you know, I'm looking at the reviews for it, of course. And one of the reviews was, works great, didn't set my house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. So I clicked on it because I wanted to see, like, you know, bought one before, it totally torched my living room or something, but they didn't have anything like that. But I, I was like, well, it is something I'm looking for is a charger that won't set my living room on fire or whatever. Dude, so. Wireless charging is the greatest thing ever invented. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging that. I do, I do wish there was a way to, like, it, it'd be awesome if there was something you could just, like, clip onto the back of the phone and it would charge it, essentially, but... You know, without buying an external battery pack, because that's what that would be. But, you know, it does kind of suck that if it's charging, you kind of have to leave well, it in the... I mean, Apple sells those. Yeah. Those magnet cords I know. or whatever. I yeah. know. I'm so... I, I was looking at yeah, them. I'm sure they're way, too, way more expensive than I think they are. 
they're way more than $13. That's for sure. <laughs> so I, uh, I was just like, this is good enough. I don't really need anything else. Like if I need a charger somewhere else or on the go, All right, Brian, most you want to just take a gander at how much an Apple MagSafe charger is. I'm going to guess it's somewhere near a hundred dollars. It's actually not terrible. It's 34. Oh. Oh, okay. Thirty four is actually really not bad. I wonder if at all. there's a. Okay. I wonder if there's. <laughs> I expect it gets... ones though. Oh yeah, good Come question. Come on, wish dot com. Am I right? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Remember, you swore off wish. Remember, I, I was looking at wish the other day, actually. Oh boy. Because oh, I, I remember saying it last year. Um, yeah. I wanted to, uh, you know, we had, like, lunch once in one of those outdoor fucking igloos. Yeah. And I really want one. But they're right. stupid expensive. And right. And Michelle was like, what about Wish? Just kind of like, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, wait a minute, what about Wish? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, the one of them was, like, $60 down from 500 And it was just, like, immediately, like, you know, cue Anchorman. I don't believe you. <laughs> Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. But right. I did start looking online at plans of how to like build one. Oh yeah. boy. All right. That seems like a terrible um, idea. It seems like there's some on Amazon that are magnetic wireless chargers that, you know, are cheaper, but they're not by cheaper by much. I thirty four bucks is not terrible. It's not terrible. And that would let you wireless it's not... well, it's not really wireless because it's wired, but you're not plugging it in. Yeah. But it does charge the AirPod Pro yeah, also. Yeah, that's, that's why I love it. Because, I mean, I have... What do we got? I I, can, I don't even know how many charging pads I have in my house now. I have them everywhere. Because <laughs> I right. love them. Because I have to set I my phone it. down. I you know do with my thing. Yeah. And I kind of want one... I was one at your house. I have one in my it's kitchen. Okay. I kind of want to get one that's angled, though. Because I, I like to watch a lot of YouTube and shit oh, when I'm cooking. Yeah, that's right. And it would be really great if I could just... Bloop, let it charge. and Right. Oh, man. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta say, yeah. Brian, I gotta go take a leak, bro. <laughs> well, it sounds like you're out of luck, my I, friend. I was like sitting there thinking, like I could probably hold off. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold off. All right. Well, it looks like we're gonna be taking a a little break yeah, here. So just so you know, top off your drinks, people. Get a snack. We'll be right back or something. Yeah, we'll be back in two and two. There it goes. And hey, right. what? Oh, hold on. Let me oh. let me let me reboot. Okay. Let me reboot that. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to sync it up on two ends here. Oh. All right. I'm ready? ready. All right. And go. we're back. I'm back. Yep. I'm better than ever, yep. man. Yeah, sure. I really need one of those urinal jugs. <laughs> no, I don't. Just a race catheter and like one of those like giant water bottles. Oh, God, that'd be the worst, bro. Yeah, right. You just made me think of something though. Do you know what I built for my Christmas tree? No, but I, now I'm hoping it's some sort of race catheter theme. I mean, thing. it's not race catheter themed, but it's along the line. Okay. I built a siphon-based watering system. Okay. It, that makes I, sense. Like, it's fucking grand. Because my tree, we got this tree. I mean, honestly, it looks like a butt plug. It's, like, fat That's... and short, and the shape is, yeah. it doesn't have, like, a, like, if we, we have a Christmas star that we just have nestled in the tree because there's nowhere to clip it. Oh, like, okay. It, it's not a, your <laughs> traditional tree. But right. I love the tree. It's fucking great. But, um, so getting into it to water, it's impossible without spilling shit okay. everywhere. Yeah. You know, they make those funnels and tubes. They just, you know, whatever. Like a beer bong. Yeah. yeah. Basically. It's like a Christmas beer bong. You're right. Right. Yeah. So I was, I was looking online. I'm like, there's gotta be something. That I could just like DIY because I don't want to go spend. And I started looking at Amazon and they sell these like siphon water systems. I'm like, oh, that's the move. And then, of course, 
someone's like, here's how you build it. And I'm looking at what he's using to build it. I'm like, I have everything. I've got a, like, <laughs> we had an old distilled water jug that had a little bit of water still in it. I had plastic yeah. tubing. Like, we had everything. Mm-hmm. Dude, right. it's the greatest thing ever. I just top off the little jug. The hose is hidden underneath the tri- Christmas tree skirt. I'm actually going to, I want to get a box for lid and wrap it to hide the water jug. And I'm, uh-huh. this is going to be my Christmas tree system forever. Yeah, that makes sense. Top off the jug at the line. And when the tree's yeah. thirsty, it's good to go. Right. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's like I, I've been having a real tree for. How long have I been alive? 42 years? Yeah. yeah. This is the first time I've ever had anything like this, and it's the best thing ever. Normally, I'm like fighting a yeah, tree to water it, you know? Yeah, exactly. Well, the yeah. fuck is wrong with me? I don't know. It's basic science or something. Hydrodynamics. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Some of that, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting all excited. Yeah, I noticed. Right. Sorry. I'll allow Sweet. it. Makes sense, you know, because it, it it is a real pain in the ass. They have to climb under the tree to so, and like seriously try to water the thing. There's so yeah. many branches. Like you said, a lot of times you're dumping it all over yeah, the place. I don't want and... anything to do with that. And no. it's like, granted, the trees I buy, they're the pine needles are like soft, so I'm not I'm not fighting. I'm not getting stabbed in the face trying to do it. It's too bad. That's the that's the only part that lets you know oh you're alive. God. I bought a reef from Leah's school and hanging it up on the door. It was like being assaulted. It's like, why is this so pointy? <laughs> you know, rasping a porcupine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Seriously, it's the greatest thing ever. Good fun. Right. Greatest thing of all time. All time, all you time. say? I don't know. No, I'm telling you. All right, fair enough. Are you uh, are you prepped for Christmas as much as you can prep for Christmas? Um, yeah, I'm pretty much got my shopping done. I got to wrap stuff at this right. point, but other than that, yeah, pretty much. We haven't, we haven't put, like my mom hasn't put the tree up really? yet. Yeah. She just hasn't really felt like it. And then, you know, obviously this last week was well, yeah, that's fair. a shit show, but <clears throat> yeah, she just hasn't really felt it this year. You know, it's, I've heard a lot of people saying, you know, similar stuff that they're just, they're not going like all out with decorating this year and such. Yeah. I, I, Which is weird because last year would have been the year. Well, I guess everyone being home, I guess a lot of people were like, well, I'm going to go full board decorating. And then this year, maybe, I I don't know. I don't know like, um, like our cousin Eddie, I had to, uh, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I had to move him into the backyard because yeah. uh, his arm fell off and the wind and everything else, you know? And like his yeah. arms busted. I actually bought some like some heavy duty Velcro. I'm gonna try to ta- keep because I want to be able to move it. You know, I don't want yeah. to glue it into place. But um, dude, scared the shit out of me last week because I put it. <laughs> I just stood him up in the back, like right by the back of the house. Yeah, and right. Like, it was it was when a you know, poor Poe, our dog, had some diarrhea, so she kept us up. Yeah, like, it was horrible. But, like, yeah. Michelle went out there, and she's like, yeah, I, I thought I was going to die. Because I'm standing out there with the dog, and out of the corner of my eye, I just see a dude. Yeah, yeah. And then me, uh, like, the next morning, I was like, do-do-do, going out to work. And I fire up my car, and I throw it in reverse, and the backup camera kicks on. I just see a dude. I was just like, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I had a moment like that, like, when uh, I was at the, the hospital, my mom asked me to go get something out of the car. So I go out you know, to, to the car. And as I'm walking back, you know, the hospital is off to the, my right and the cars are off to the left. And I'm, I'm looking more toward the hospital, you know, and kind of looking for any sort of traffic coming through the parking lot. And the way the light hit one of the cars at first, I just saw a little, I saw something out of like the, you know, my peripheral vision on my left and didn't think anything of it. And then a few steps later, I saw it again as I like got past another car and it, I don't know why, but it registered in my head is that I was being followed, basically. And I immediately, like, you know, like, turned to the left and was, like, in flight mode. Right. You know, basically. It scared the shit out of me. And I was like, there's nothing there. There's literally don't nothing there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes when you get a scare like that, like, 
you know, when we were going to Kelly's at one time and we both looked to the right and there was that part oh, train God, yeah. right as we hit the train tracks and we both about shit right. ourselves because it was, you know, we, we, we didn't ex- die. That. Yeah. <laughs> Good reason to you know, like shit that. yourself, honestly. Yeah, I feel like that one was warranted, you know, but these other ones, it's, you know, like, <laughs> especially with yours, you did it to yourself, essentially. It's the classic, yeah. you played yourself. You you yeah. did. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, that that it did. It scared the shit out of me. But I'm I'm glad to know, you know, Cousin Eddie's going to live on after an arm transplant. Yeah. Yeah. And I was kind of thinking, like, I was looking at him, because he's all askew in the backyard now, you know. I was yeah. like, man, I should buy, like, Christmas boxers for him. Because he's just got this, like, mannequin bald. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to see that. Yeah. No, probably not. Like, yeah. Yeah, I, was, I was like, I what mean, if the wind blows his robe up or something? Now, for, you know, if you wanted to re- repurpose him, I mean, you know, he, he could be a great um, uh, David Bowie and Labyrinth Halloween character. Oh, he, he doesn't have <laughs> that magical of a bald. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, good try, though. Yeah, that would have been, you know, frightening. That would have been terrifying. Yeah. Like, sir, can you can you put this thing away? <laughs> no, I can't. I am the Goblin King. <laughs> yeah. That's the character. God, I could not think of, like, all I could think of, like, it's like, I know it's Bowie and I know it's well, Labyrinth, and it I'm like just like, that's it. The Goblin King or something yeah, like that? Something, yeah, something. Yeah, I just was completely blanked at that point. So... Oh, man. Uh, so you got anything else for it? Uh, we do a couple street type stuffs here? Uh, um, no, I'm pretty, that's pretty much it. All right. Did you see the the video of the like teachers scrambling for dollar bills? That was the story, Brian. The- I told you I almost I pulled wondering- it, but it kind of just made me sad. Good Lord. What a fucking nightmare. Yeah, I saw that. And like, it's you know, was it last week or the week before I made the comment about finishing Squid Games? And I was like, it bugs me to no end that a lot of people were like, ooh, instead of seeing that as a, like, a commentary on society, saw that and went, ooh, we should play games and have a contest. Yeah, yeah I know. You know, right? completely missing the point. This is the exact kind of person, like the whoever decided this was a good idea, instead of just splitting the money up amongst these teachers and saying, Hey, here's this money. Yeah. Here you go. Or have a trivia contest or something more like no, that. No, no. To where it's, make them wrestle for it. Yeah. Instead, let's just throw it on the ground and make them fight for, or not on the ground. I'm sorry. It's on a rug in the middle of a hockey rink. Right. Cause they all have hockey right. helmets on. Um, Oh, I didn't even read that part. Yeah. It, it actually like says on here. Hockey it's game or something. I think. Yeah, no, I was reading that it's drunk comparisons to Squid Game. Oh, I didn't even... Yeah. It, but it fit because it shows just how tone-deaf people... They just watched that and just saw it as entertainment, like they were watching Saw, basically, instead of seeing it as, like, literally somebody going, hey, there are people who would probably put their lives at risk to, you know, make money to get out of their issue. Um, but, yeah, the local newspaper reported $5,000 in single dollar bills were laid out on the ice skating rink. Again, they were on a rug or something during the Sioux fall stampede hockey game. The teachers from nearby schools competed to grab as many dollar bills as possible in less than five minutes, basically so that they could, uh, fund teaching supplies and classroom repairs. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And I read, there was a tweet that I read earlier today that was basically from a guy that was like, with every PR stunt, you have to go, how is this going to read? Yes. And he's like, and somebody didn't get it, you know? Because <laughs> he's like, this looks stupid and cruel, basically. This does not it look horrible. like, oh, it's, yeah, it's not like, oh, this company gave some money to help teachers with, um, you know, supplies for their students or whatever. This comes across all anyone I've seen talking about this is how demeaning it is. Yeah. That's worst PR you could have gotten as the company involved in this and the hockey team and all that what stuff. What do you mean, you Brian? Know, <laughs> just a big swing and a miss. 
I hope there's some people out there that would, I, I'd love to see some other places maybe like just straight up, like give them some money right, for this. And basically you'd almost love to be able to just tell them to, you know, go fuck themselves and put that money I mean, back people in. People might. Yeah. You know, throw in cash because yeah. of, of how much it, uh, that's what I'm looking for. How much press it's gotten. Yeah. It has gotten quite a bit on Twitter yeah. at least. Like, I saw this video shared, I don't know how many times within the, you know, like today alone. I mean, man, it was, it felt like it was about like every third retweet for a good chunk of the morning, right. you know, it's just my little sample of Twitter, you know, so I don't know beyond that, but, you know, and I know some big accounts got a hold of it and we're sharing yeah, it around. It was pretty stuff. insane. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Just bad, bad PR on oh. that one. Totally just missed the mark. And seriously, to whoever thought this was a good idea, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yes, exactly. Come on. Because seriously, with the money that was, like I said, they could have picked, they could have had them do hockey skill shots. You know, like put, you know how they do, like where they have it to where somebody can win money, where they put the thing in front of it. And if you get it in the hole, you get X dollars or whatever. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like you could have done some shit like that yeah. and at least it'd have been a little fun. You know, it wouldn't have come across like, you know, you know, here and just throw a towel at them afterwards, you know, but clean yourselves up, you know, like, cause that's how it yeah, feels. It, it, it was, feels so it's great. gross. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway. Ugh. So this next story I have here, I actually heard about this. A while ago and i think it was on like planet money or the indicator or something like that on npr the podcast and uh this woman in the bay area started out with a single bobby pin and has traded up to where it's now become a house is there a list of the trades i don't see a list i think like it's probably available somewhere and i think she might have her own like podcast Hmm. Um, I know when they had her on there, she told them that her goal was to get to a house. And I think she got to a car. Right. And her, you know, like, I think it was like her originally, like her goal was a car or something like that. Or it was something else. And then she was like, well, let's see if we can turn this into a car and then to a house. And I think her in- original intention was basically to give whatever the big thing she ended up at was to give it away and then start again hmm. and try to work her way back up um, to where she literally, like I said, she started with a bobby pin, traded it for, it doesn't say in here, but traded it to something else and then traded and traded and traded kind of a thing until it's all the way up to That's wild. Um, a house. Yeah, or whatever. So, yeah, I thought it was kind of a, it, it's just kind of a cool, especially coming off the other one. This one's actually, you know, kind of fun and cool that she did it as basically something to do during COVID. And it just kind of blown up into more, wow. you know, so yeah, pretty challenging. I'm assuming too, you know, I mean, if people know what the goal is, they might be like, yeah, sure. I'll give you, you know, a blender or something like who cares, right. you know, but like a house, it's like, I kind of want to see the trades that were just before the house. Like, you know, what did somebody trade the house for? Yeah. You know? I don't, I, I said, I'm surprised there's or even a car. I'm surprised there's not a yeah. list of, of something, but you're probably right. I mean, there, if, if there's a, if yeah. she's got a podcast or whatever, yeah. oh, TikTok user, especially trades Bobby Pin all the way to our very own house. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe yeah. she's going to keep the house. Okay. Ori- originally, I believe the the story I heard, I'm pretty sure it was the same person, was that like she was going to like trade up to like a big prize of some sort. And then, like I said, give that away or trade that away to someone else, essentially, and then over like, you know, like pick a person. Okay, give me a bobby pin, you know, and then start again at the bottom kind of a thing. But it's it's kind of kind of a fun, cool thing for somebody to do. Kind of a thing. Okay, cool. It says to reach her goal in the end, her name's Skipper. Yeah. Skipper said she kept trading up after swapping her humble bobby pin for a pair of earrings led to a set of glasses, a later a vacuum. She eventually worked her way up to large items, recently securing a Chipotle celebrity card, which offers a year of unlimited free food from the chains worth about $20,000. Jesus. Uh, She traded that card for a trailer worth $40,000, 
which included a Tesla power wall, solar panels, full size fridge. She shared on TikTok Jeez. later. And then the trailer okay. got her all the way to a new home. Huh. Okay. It's crazy. Like, I mean, yeah. good for her. Right. Now, the other thing on this was like, if she does have a podcast, the story is probably the interesting part. Oh, yeah. Right. right. Like all the trades and all that. That's where the meat of all this is. And she talks about it. I think it was on on the indicator. I think it that uh, she was on, and she talked about it. You know, the indicator is only like a nine or ten minute podcast, so they you know they just talk a little bit on there. Um, yeah, where is it? She said she was willing to do this for five years if that's what it took to get the house. She started in May of twenty twenty. Right. Yeah, I thought it was kind of a, kind of a cool story. Yeah, because. Who would have thought you could ever trade a bobby pin for a house? Yeah, right. And even though it's not directly for the house, you know, obviously there's 28 trades to get to the thing. And, of course, a bunch of kindness because literally what's a bobby pin worth? Yeah. You know, and if someone's like, I'll give you a toaster for the bobby pin, it's like, well, clearly, you know, See, I, I, they're I trading. At what point, though, yeah. does this trade mm-hmm. thing become, because she's uh, doing it on TikTok, become a social media thing then? Because yeah. if there's no She's social been, media, and like someone comes up to me, it's like, "Hey, I got this bobby pin. What will you give me?" I'll be like, "Fucking nothing." <laughs> yeah, another bobby yeah, like, pin. Like, what am I gonna do? Put it in my beard? Get out of here, stupid. Yeah, it's like, well, I have some lint and hair in my pocket. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I'll trade you half of that for the bobby yeah. pin. Yeah, it's. Just, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I know that's. I'm with you. That's kind of what I was getting at. Is it's like at some point you know, you're gonna hit a certain point where this is more about somebody just doing it because the story's cool. Yeah, exactly. You know, like if if it's like, sure, you have a car, I'll trade you. You know, whatever, whatever that's val- more valuable than the car for our car. You know, and uh, jokes on her in this used car market that's though. Right? No. <laughs> Did anyone tell her about the chip shortage? Yep. But anyway, yeah, yeah. good for her. Whatever. Good point. Yeah. And then the the last story I got here is, you know, circling back to otters. Um, All right. British man recounts attack by otters in a Singapore garden. And uh, it says a British man taking an early morning walk in Singapore Botanic Gardens said he was attacked by a pack of wild otters, leaving him with 26 wounds on his buttocks legs and fingies the old buttocks wounds yep uh he said he was he uh was on his usual 6 a.m walk in the gardens when a convoy of about 20 otters ambushed him causing him to fall Wait. and trampled and bit you say a convoy a great big old is convoy. that what he yeah. called a group of otters i don't know it's what he called them i assume they truck through the night but <laughs> um <laughs> damn it brian <laughs> You realize now I've made like three references to the song. <laughs> yeah. um, he said the whole process was 10 or 12 seconds. I couldn't move. I thought I was going to die. If they bite my face or neck, I'm dead, he told Reuters. Spencer escaped when his friend ran over to scream at the otters and pulled him away. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, there's a little more here. But it's so weird. Like he says, um... oh, here we go. Uh, he. <laughs> The animal welfare group says it's rare for otters to attack humans unless they feel threatened. Spencer said he thought the otters mistook him for a runner who had run past him, stepping on one of the animals in the dim early morning light. Clearly, they had a thirst for revenge then. Uh, He says uh, he hoped the authorities would put in place measures such as solar-powered lights along the pathways. He says, I weighed more than 200 pounds and I couldn't get up without my friend's help. If the otters had attacked a girl or a child, they would surely would could not have survived, Spencer said. Now, in fairness, what if that woman or child weighed over 200 pounds? Right. What if they were freakishly strong? Because my question is, I, I mean, I, I maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like he'd be punching otters oh, time. Oh, fuck yeah. You want to you see yeah. like me kick an otter? Yeah, because I, I, I just don't understand how a bunch of little things like that are holding a 200-pound man see down. beat the shit out of one otter with another otter? The only other thing I can think of is they pulled some Gulliver's Travel shit on him and just like roped him down, Maybe. basically. Maybe they harpooned him <laughs> like it's uh, like Attack on Titan. Yeah, <laughs> and they they were just holding him down that way, and then just you know 
nibbling at his fingies and buttocks. Now, I know he said know? a convoy of otters, but according to my research, he could have picked way better options. Because a group right. of otters yeah, is either called up a family, a raft, a bevy, or my personal family, but a romp of otters. Oh, a romp would have been. See, a romp makes it sound it fun. It does sound though. fun, doesn't it? You know? Like, who doesn't want to romp with 20 otters? They're having a good time. They're just romping around. Yeah, it was like a mosh pit, yeah. basically. Fucking asshole. They're just trying to have a good time. It is kind of weird, though, because, you know, there's always been those jokes of, uh, you know, like how many. <laughs> like how many babies do you think you could fight off kind of a True. thing or how many the answer is what is it like by the way that's before right, i just lose right. interest and i'm too tired yeah, yeah right um but it i i can't help but wonder how how you can't fight off otters I, are they that strong i mean they have to be right i mean you know i don't like were they cracking his fingies on their belly with rocks what's know. what's going on I mean, I'm sure I they just, have, that was, sure they have just, nasty little teeth is. Do they have proportional spider strength or something? I mean, you know, yeah, that's the thing. I'm sure they have sharp claws and yeah. teeth. You know, like, I'm sure that's not going to feel good. But I just feel like, like, you know what it reminds me of is like the scene in was it one of the Jurassic Parks where all the like little, were they raptors little, little or spitters? Trumpies. Yeah, when they storm or swarm that yeah. one dude, it's like, I guess it's that I mean, kind of I scenario. Guess. I guess you can I mean, be swarmed by. I mean, I guess if you got swarmed by a romp of otters, that's probably a bad time. I guess. I mean, it doesn't sound like he had a lot exactly. of fun. Till I but spine I, buster I that first otter. That's what I'm saying. It's like, how do you not just start ragdolling? Right. Them? You know, just picking them up by the scruff of their neck and winging them around. Oh, yeah, you know? exactly. Like I don't. I mean, not that I'm advocating animal abuse, but like. It's you know it's it's me or them at that point. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I'm rear naked choking. I'm I'm doing whatever well, I'm I can do with that. Point. Each hand, I'm gonna be smashing them together yeah. like a, like they're, I'm playing the cymbals in an orchestra. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like two Steve Weisers. <laughs> I'll be swinging right. them to t- by their tails like fucking nunchucks. Yeah, that's what like I don't. <sighs> yeah. Also, you got to make a bunch of otter puns at the same time, oh, of for course. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is utterly ridiculous, or stuff like that. Yeah, exactly, right. But, I mean, I guess, you know, I'm glad he's okay, but I still don't understand how a, a grown man can't fight off otters. It just seems weird to me. Well, here, let's let's do a stupid Google search. Are otters strong? <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, I, mean, uh, I don't know. Fair. I've never, I have yet to fist fight an otter. Yet. It's on my bucket list. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm already, I've already secured otterfightclub.com. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Here we go. Five facts about otters from World Otter Day, apparently. Let's see if there's anything World fun here. Otter Day? Yeah. All right. All right. These suck. All right. Never mind. These suck. Aside from that, you should never own one as a pet. Apparently, they don't make good pets. Really? Yeah. Never visit an otter cafe or own a pet otter. Huh. All right. I didn't even know otter cafes were an option, and I'm definitely visiting one now. Yeah. Get an otter smoothie, like an otter dia. Exactly. You know? Otter boba tea. Yeah, I don't think that's what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> Are otters aggressive? They're aggressive when necessary, it says. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they're in the same family as weasels, skunks, wolverines, and honey badgers. Mm, fair enough. So they can be, yeah, here we go. Otters are tough as nails and well known by zoo curators and wildlife specialists to be dangerous to handle, much like me. <laughs> so, there you go. Okay, all right. So, all right, I'm having a little more respect for them. So, huh. yeah. It's yeah, like apparently, like generally, the reasons that they attack humans would be like if you get too close to their their uh, offspring or whatever. So, so maybe that guy was trying to fuck of baby otters and he deserved it. Maybe, yeah, maybe he was trying to claim that one he fell and one you know he fell onto one and went up his ass or something. <laughs> That's I crazy. <laughs> I swear, yeah. Mama Otter, he was up there when I found him. Yeah, right. 
<sighs> well, here, if an otter feels threatened, it's heavy muscular body and sharp claws are enough to overpower pets and small children. So I guess 20 of them, you know, yeah, and it says, you know, if if for anyone listening, if uh, you do get bitten or scratched by them, they can transmit rabies. So, um, you know, get immediate help if you get scratched yeah, or bitten Yeah, but if I by bite them. them, just think of what they're going to get. <laughs> oh, now see, these are the kind of questions I love coming to on the Internet. Because this one right here is, can an otter take down a human? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what That's we're, what here, we're for. here for. Wow. The, the headline on this says, you know, can an otter take down a human? Recent news of a rogue otter devouring an alligator in Florida had us wondering just how dangerous are these river weasels? A rogue otter. <laughs> I'm picturing, you know, he's got like a scar down his face and <laughs> he's got a cigar in his mouth yeah, all the time, you know. One was like sailor beanies. Yeah. Well, he's basically Nick Fury, but he's an otter, Absolutely. you know. Oh, man. I, one took down an, a crocodile? That's crazy. Had, was it a baby crocodile or a, like full strength one? Wow. The fact is, otters don't want to have anything to do with you, but they're extremely territorial. They are also apex predators, which can make a meal out of alligators. Interesting. So, okay. Apparently, we weren't putting enough respect on I their name. I never would have pictured uh, them as being, quote unquote, apex predators. I, yeah, right? I mean, that's also, you know, one of Randy Orton's nicknames. I mean, they're just yeah. so damn adorable. Uh, I know. Well, you know, it's like you that's and I. True. It's so yeah. damn adorable, but yeah. dangerous Apex as hell if, predators. If, we get our, if we get our nails or teeth exactly. on you. <laughs> you're for sure getting rabies. Yeah. If you're lucky, that's all exactly. you're getting. Um, where is it? Yeah, they, they boast a sharp set of canines and crushing molars, which, by the way, crushing molars sounds like a great band name. Um, oh, says right. they have a formidable bite, roughly comparable in force to a German Shepherd's, which can break hand bones, but mostly puncture or bruise skin. Hmm. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. I guess you know. At least you and I've learned some shit know, tonight right? about otters. Dang. Like I said, apparently we weren't putting enough respect on their name. I had no idea. I didn't either. <laughs> but now you know. Do 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 do. <laughs> or. Knowing's half the battle. Take your pick. Half the battle. Speaking of stuff from the 80s and old time TV shows, let's go to the Q of the W. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was an award winning segue right there. You caught me off guard, Brian. It was so good. It's like I broke your ankles with that crossover. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're like the video that, like, dude crossing over his grandma. Dude, I used to sit and watch those on like World Star and different shit all the time. Instead of watching the fight videos, I was watching motherfuckers like cross up grandma on the court and just breaking her. I ankle. mean, those good times. <laughs> or like, I love the ones where like a little kid will be standing in front of somebody acting like they're playing defense, and the guy will be he you know does like a crossover, and the kid just falls down. There's a video of a guy doing that, and his, his buddy runs up and is like, "Oh, <laughs> you know, that's hilarious." <laughs> it's, it's like a three year old. Yeah, fuck that kid. That's what I say. <laughs> just destroyed him it's like man take your trash off my court you know um so last (laughs) week we asked you guys what older tv series would you like to see remade of today's level of budget and quality dick van dyke show was the only answer we got from everybody it's crazy it's unanimous yep um so face page we got diamond top fan big dev says this is a tough question of the shows i've watched that would benefit from cgi and stupid amounts of money and haven't tried rebooting TV or movie. The only mm. one I can think of is Logan's Run. Any other show I'd mm. like to make a return would lose something in updating it. I See, that was something I actually was talking to my sister about because I was talking about how some of those old shows, the camp of them is part of what made them. It's why I wouldn't want to update the classic right. Batman, right? Because if you try to update that, they're going to try to make it serious and gritty or blah, blah. And it's like, like just no, stop. the camp is what made that show. Yeah, exactly. The camp is what made that show yeah. so good. You know, so, yeah, I agree with you on that one, Dev. Uh, Jeff from Hobie. He says, Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah. You do need a lot of budget for the CGI. You on definitely that. do. I guess. Uh, so you're Kiki. She says Firefly. 
That's an interesting one because when I first read it, I was kind of like, yeah, that's not that. And I was like, actually, that is kind of an old yeah, show now. It's crazy. You know, really look at it. Um, and if you watch it, the effects don't hold up real well because, you know, what effects hold up when computers keep advancing in the leaps it's that true. they do. So, yeah. So I'm with you, but I still want Nathan Fillion starting, starring in God it because of right you do. And uh, what's his nuts? Alan Tudyk I, I has to be on the show. Yes, you're yeah. right. Absolutely. Everyone comes back exactly. or we don't do it. Yep, fair enough. Although I don't think that's going to happen with Joss Whedon basically being canceled. Well, so yeah, that's fair. At least for now. Yeah, we got to give it a few years for the... Simmer down a little. Yeah, I mean, look, if, if Mel Gibson can keep getting work, I, I figure there's no such thing as cancel culture. <laughs> so. That's fair. I mean, sugar tits and some of the other stuff he said, you know, and he's still yeah. working, so... Yeah. Um, and then your sister, Chris. She says yep. Bewitched. Yeah, and, you know, they did the movie with, uh, what, Nicole Kidman and Will Ferrell, which, I, I, yeah, I don't know what the hell was going on there. But, but I could see. But, again, the only issue I had, and I, this is actually where the conversation was, I told her, I said, the only thing I'd be afraid of is the camp of Bewitched is what made the show yes. charming. You know, like in the actors that played the guest stars a lot of times are what really made the the show kind of have the the appeal that it had, you know, but you could do a lot cooler. And realistically, if you look at WandaVision, they they spoofed Bewitch in WandaVision. Uh, right. And showed yeah. that it was still a real fun concept of oh, a show. Absolutely. Right. So I was like, I, I really do think there, you know, there is something for that. And then, of course, the effects were you know, a lot better in WandaVision. What do you, mean, Brian? <laughs> you got that, you got that sweet, sweet mouse money. <laughs> what do you mean, Brian? <laughs> um, but that's, uh, that's all I got on the face page. Let me, uh, right. let me flip it over here to Instagram. And we okay. got our Australian buddy, the disco daddy down under angry eyes. He says, uh, Starsky and Hutch. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. I can, Alternatively, oh <laughs> uh, Giz- <laughs> Gizelaine, I don't know how to say her stupid name, Maxwell could guest star in an episode of the all-new Love Boat with that poor bastard Robert Wool, Arliss, as the ship's captain, and 50 Cent as Ted the bartender. Maybe Rebel Wilson and Julian the fat-ass cruise director with a coke problem and a cock addiction. Man, this shit writes itself. <laughs> I think it'd be a hard, uh, hard time getting that on network TV, yeah, Probably. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. You know, you just got to go in and charm the pants off of them. Definitely. You know, and then you'll be all set. Yeah. But they did do that Sarsky and Hutch remake, and that was pretty weak. Yeah, I didn't yeah. love that. Although, in fairness, I wasn't the biggest Starsky and Hutch fan as a like a kid Fair either. Enough. I had the Hot Wheels or Matchbox, whoever had the license for their cars. I had like all the you know the few vehicles from it, and you know, but uh, yeah, wasn't... but I. I I, I could see it, though, because, like, again, it's like you run into I think the problem with the movie was they tried to lean into the camp too right. much. Much like the Brady Bunch movies did the same thing. They tried to take the show and instead of it being an earnest show that was campy, they tried to make a campy show that was or a movie that was yes. earnest. Yes. You know? And it's it, it, that formula doesn't work as well. And that's always the problem with those remakes. A lot of times you lose that, you know, sometimes it was just like a movie, right? Like when you first make a movie and it, it's like, holy shit, this is a great movie. And then they try to recreate it for a sequel. And you're like, now nah, the reason it hit was because it kind of came out of nowhere and it was different and fun or, you know, whatever. So, you know, or whatever you want to say about Caligula, <laughs> you know? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just got to see them Helen Mirren titties, yeah, you know? <laughs> Um, anyway, that's, that's all I got. All right. So you got okay. Over on Twitter, uh, at Ru- Ru- yeah, I can't even say it, man. Ruperto two one Oh six says greatest American hero. Mm, nice. Which, uh, Bill Sweeney at wicked theory also said, but he also said quantum leap and auto man. Yeah. And you know, quantum leap would with, with new effects well yeah 
And but unfortunately, Dean Stockwell just died. But Scott Bakula is still alive. So, you know, we can. And uh, you know what? Duh. Mr. Teal just placed uh, Dean Stockwell's role. Obviously. Yep. Or an otter. I don't know which. We'll decide. It just depends on how my timing works and which project it's going to fit in. You know, my Mr. T projects or my otter projects. <laughs> right. <laughs> Might be both. You never know. I mean, you could just put them together and make Mr. Otter. No, that's yeah. just that's just ridiculous. No, oh, okay. Fair enough. That's too far. Um, at GSS012 on Twitter says Land of the Lost. That'd be okay, that'd be fun. Dinosaurs are always dope. Yeah, yeah. I'm always down for dinosaur stuff. So. Mm-hmm. So, uh, was there any more on Twitter? My my brother-in-law, when we were talking about this, he said, um, uh, you and I brought it up last week, uh, Dukes of Hazard," Right. Which was another one with, you know, you kind of, I don't know how a show, I don't know if a show like that can be made now. And I don't mean because of the Confederate flag on the roof of the car. Even removing that, I don't know if the tone of that is really... It's not where we are anymore. Yeah. yeah. You know, un- unless like, you know, country music channel or something. Because it's like, you know, hey, we embrace redneck stuff. Yeah, even so, like, I know Fast I and think Furious, people love it and all that. But it's like, I don't think car media is what it was. Like, I mean, we had Smokey and yeah. the Bandit and fucking Knight Rider and yeah. Dukes of Hazard and. Yeah, there were a lot of shows that kind of focused on like a star skiing hutch. Yeah. They had that red car with yeah, that yeah, big white stripe. Yeah. Exactly. AT, black van with the red. You know, it's like there were a lot of shows that had iconic vehicles in those days. I don't think it's like that anymore. Airwolf. We also, I don't remember if you said Airwolf, but I want to make sure Airwolf is put in there it's as like well. It's like a car, but with helicopter. Blades. Magnum PI. Yeah. And Magnum PI. Because yeah. there's a car and a helicopter that are both pretty well known from that show. Yes. So, yeah. Yep. Exactly. Um, all right, that looks like. Sorry, I'm just making sure that that's all I got here before we go to uh, that one guy with the face that always sends one in. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Mister Bandito, if you will. I mean, yes, I will. Yeah, it's, his name ain't Baby. It's Cheeto. I mean, Mister. If you're nasty. That was like baby bandito. It's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. <It's> damn. <laughs> the damn email just will not open up. I love how emails are just like, nah. It's like, why are you still trying to use email? This 2021. Oh, I, of course. Because Google Workspace had to completely reset for some reason. Well, of course. <sighs> Sigh. Big sigh. There we hey. go. Maybe. I like it when they call me big. Anyway, uh, so he says the old Spider-Man live action TV show. Oh, boy. He says, come on, a weekly Spidey adventure with an occasional suspenseful two-parter? How about the season finales where you don't know if Aunt May is going to live or die? Well, spoiler alert, she always dies. She should. No, uh, <laughs> uh, he says, Hobie picks. Greatest American Hero. So that's our winner with three yeah, votes. Right. American Gothic. He said, I know it isn't an old show, but it's kind of old. And the Super Friends cartoon. I mean, that'd be fun. This, I, the Super Friends one fits a lot of those shows. Same with Greatest American Heroes and all that kind of stuff, right? It's like there's that element of camp in them that if you don't hit it, because otherwise, like with Super Friends, if you don't hit that, you've basically just made Justice League again. And that Justice League cartoon's fantastic because it's part of the, what do you call it, the Bruce Tim like universe of like Batman the animated series and right. Superman the animated series and stuff, which are fantastic series, you know. But I I love the meanwhile and all the just goofy the shit from that show. Back at the Hall of Justice. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's cool. Hmm. Hmm. So there you go. You know, I saw, was it yesterday? I think HBO has kind of announced that they're going to reboot Six Feet Under. Really? Have you watched that Actually, show? I have not. I've heard it's very good. It's though. a great show. It has maybe the best series finale as far as 
it's so fits. It feels right. Everything feels so wrapped up. It's one of those few shows that nailed really? its landing. Huh. Yeah. Crushed, crushed the landing. And it's got Michael C. Hall from Dexter in it. And, you know, it's, it's a really good show. Um, I really don't want to reboot of that. And then and that's not like my old man ways. I just think it was, it's kind of like, I don't want a breaking bad reboot. Right. Yeah. Like, like leave I, it alone. I don't want that. Sh- right. I don't want that show ever rebooted. Cause I think they did a, such a beautiful job with the series. It's one of those that it's like, I, I do feel to some extent, like there's just some series that you just leave alone. If people want to watch it, go back and watch yeah, it's dated and all that kind of stuff, but whatever. It's like the Sopranos, yeah, right? If they were like, hey, we're going to the redo the Sopranos series. No, don't. Yeah, or The Wire. I don't want to, you know, like there's just shows like that. They're just like, no, just yeah. leave it alone. You know, it's perfect. And that's why, like, even the shows we just talked about, I argued about some of them, like, you know, I don't want, like Magnum P.I. is a great example. I love that show. It's campy. It's bad. It's, you know, whatever. But that reboot that they did, it's like they totally went a different way with it. And it's like, this is not Magnum P.I. This is a show you call Magnum yeah, right. P.I. But you know what it is? It's like right now Ford has a product out called a Mustang Mach-E. Yeah. And it's not yeah. a Mustang. You can call it whatever you want. I guess they call it a Mustang. But it's like, come on, it's a four-door. And it's like an SUV. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like Mustangs were a muscle car. And it's electric. Like you're getting about as far away from an, an a muscle car as like you can they get made with an that electric thing. Mustang. Like okay. Yes, I could get behind that yeah. easier. <laughs> so anyway, um, but yeah, I just when I saw that it was six feet under, I was just like, oh, that show's so good. Just and it's on HBO Max. Like just just let people go watch it. Yeah. You know, just start promoting it more and talking about that. I just. Because, you know, I will say this, like if they come up and they're like, hey, we have this great idea that can kind of either extend the story or do something that actually fits in the universe, then I wouldn't be against it. But I really feel like they they really tied up all the loose ends. I don't really feel like they left much undone with that show. And there's if you watch the show, there's no need for really for a prequel. Because it starts with, you know, spurler alert, their dad dies, and the two sons basically take over running his mm, funeral home. Fair enough. Right? And it's charming because, like, the ghost of their dad basically keeps showing up and talking to them and whatever, you know, privately, not to, like, the whole family, but, like, they each kind of have their own story with their dad and difference. It's a really good show. That's why I was like, I, I just don't know what else... I don't know where there's to me, it's kind of a, you know, it's in a box and it's like, that's it. You're just done. Right. I don't think there's room in this universe, you know, like, <laughs> like there's plenty of shows out there where you can grab and go, Hey, let's go over here for a minute. I think and play around, you know, like if you wanted to do something, well, breaking Bad's a great example, right? Cause better call Saul came out of oh, breaking yeah, bad. Right. And that's a phenomenal show. You know, because you you were like, hey, we have this really cool character. Let's go play with that. That was cool. You know, and I'd, I'd rather have, let's do more of that. Let's you don't let's want not a do. I'm fine <laughs> with remakes to some extent. I, I'd just rather, you know, let's just flesh out other characters in the universe. I think it's more right. fun. You know, anyway. But I also can't say that I'd be mad. If all of a sudden, you know, Marvel was like, hey, we got a Spider-Man show coming. No, I agree, too, with that. I'd be like, dude, it's Spider-Man. You know, so much like I'm sure Cheeto would, too. We we both are Spider-Man geeks. So it's like, you know, we would both totally be like, yes, oh, you know, even. The, yeah. Until they're like, it's based on Spider-Man 3. And there's a lot of dancing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hope you like goth. Fucking not goth. Emo. Yeah. E- uh. <sighs> Topher Grace is back as Venom. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. So dopey. Yeah. Right. Instead of Toby Maguire, we actually brought one of the pro dancers from Dancing with the Stars to play <laughs> Peter Parker. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, oh, he's the dancing one. <laughs> 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 Finally, it's the one problem I have with it. <laughs> it's crazy, really. 
<laughs> Dancing's just not good, damn it. All right, let's do this week's Q the W. All right. If the page will load. <laughs> you and your pages, bro. Well, this it's it's a Google Doc, so the other Google thing reloaded. So I was expecting this to also reload, and maybe oh, why would it, right? All right, one through eleven. Um, let's go seven. That's really funny. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's <laughs> it's another remake one. Oh well, whatever. I'll do it. All right. You have to make a dark, gritty sequel to a classic kids' movie. What do you make? Oh, wow. Hmm. Now, I'm going to say that it can't be a movie that already kind of feels gritty. Right. I feel like it's got to be something that's upbeat and fun. Dark? Like, you know, you can't you can't come at me with Lion King because too much of the Lion King is already, like, dark. Right, right, right. You know, like that kind of thing. Um, hmm. How about, um, wow, this is kind of a tough one. Because I'm, I'm actually kind of drawing a blank on kids' movies, as weird as that is. Yeah. I know, that's actually where I'm at as you're talking, and I'm like, i got to think of a kids' movie that I could do this with. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go um, Freaky Friday. <laughs> right? All and right. It turns out yeah. that the twin girls... They were separated at birth because they're actually government clones of trained assassins. <laughs> Have and you seen? Truth, I forgot what they're, they're on a quest to get the true meaning of their existence. Nice, no of course, how right? Many bodies they drop on the way. I like it. All right. Have you? Did you see? I forgot the name of the damn movie now. I think it's just called Freaky. Uh-uh. Like. Where, like, there's a teenage girl who trades bodies with, like, a grown man. I think the grown man's an assassin. Oh, that's interesting. Or it's the opposite way. Yeah, and I was like, this is actually kind of a fun twist on the Freaky Friday kind of thing. Now, let me see if I can find it real quick since I already have IMDb pulled up. No, no, let's not. No. Come on. Come on. Come on now. All right, fine. Lucy Doe now. (laughs) Um trying to think what what i would pick though because it's like i want i was trying to think of something that's like a really fun kids movie right oh do you know what here's what i'd go with i'd go with uh honey i shrunk the kids all right all right i'm listening and it was just instead of like it being an accident it was like on purpose um because he just wanted to like you know terrorize his kids or something to that effect it's and then basically he just puts his kids through a series of tests like they're lab rats <laughs> i like it that, honey, that's, I never that's wanted the kids. Yeah, basically, like, honey, I've tried to, to to destroy the children. Or something of that, but I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's called Freaky. It was uh, after swapping bodies with a deranged serial killer, a young girl in high school discovers she has less than 24 hours before the change becomes permanent. Oh, interesting. Unfortunately, starring Vince Vaughn, but... Um, I'm not mad at Vince Vaughn, though. He's real hit or miss for me. Fair enough. Like, he's either great or he's just the worst thing in the movie. Like, there's so little middle ground for me. Like, in True Detective, that character he plays, God, he was insufferable. He's just, and it was just because it was just awful. Mm, fair enough. And it Here's might not have been his fault. It might have been source material. Because right. he was on shitty, I think he was in that shitty second season. So it might not have been his fault. But anyway, I thought that, you know, like, I haven't watched this. I want to watch this. But, um, oh, it's on HBO Max. Well, well you might have to I watch can't. it now. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's any good. It's probably not. But, well, 6.4 out of 10? Uh, maybe? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe could be possibly. But it's a comedy horror thriller. So, there you go. Hmm. And now you know. And now you know. Yep. I was looking at the, looking at the, uh, cast and i'm like whoo i have not heard of most of these people yeah, really <laughs> I, don't I don't know if that's because i'm an old man and i just don't know about the hip young teens or, or kids in movies or it looks like there's a lot of young people in the movie which makes sense because the one you know is a teenage girl right so you know i don't know much about teenage girls i know they're so. pretty annoying 
Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So there you go. All right. That's that's the W for this week. Once again, is uh, you have to make a dirt gritty. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a sequel to a classic kids movie. Right. So what do you mean? But it's still going to be, you know, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Honey, I you know, lab mouse the kids. I don't, I got nothing. Yeah, I guess, I um, mine would be called, um, hmm. Oh God. I'm trying to think, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm fucking tired over here. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh geez. Yeah, if anyone can think of a fun name for my assassin base Freaky Friday, that'd be grand. Because <laughs> I am drawing a complete blank. Yeah. That's like fair. Do. That's all right. The question didn't say anything about naming yeah, that's it. That's very so. true. <laughs> Good point. All right. Oh, whew, man. I feel like a new man yeah. now. Better? No. Pull out some brain matter? No. Yeah, definitely did that. Um, all right. Well, you want to talk about our uh, what you mentioned about us announcing, or are we oh, not yeah, doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I know some of our our longtime listeners uh, remember Dude Mountain that we used to do. I mean, did we do? We just didn't do it this year because it's us, yeah. right? But so we're sitting here pre pre show talking about. Doing a dude mountain brackets for the playoffs coming up, and I don't know if we want to include wild card weekends. We could, yeah. right? But uh, if anyone's interested in this, let us know if we can figure out some sort of uh, fun prize to make maybe raise the stakes a little bit. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. or maybe yep. we'll just do it anyway. And still have a fun prize. If people want to play, they want to play. If they don't, we keep the prize. Yeah, you sons of bitches. Like oh, I got a great idea for a prize. Do you still have some seltzers left? <laughs> Actually, I got rid of all those fall ones. Oh, I, I, I was looking Never... at them. I'm like, I need the space in my cabinet, so I threw them away. <laughs> That's the right move, anyway. <laughs> That's all they're so fit no, for. No, I, I don't. I don't. Oh, oh, way to give away all I the know, prizes, right? Tony. My, my yeah. apologies, people. My apologies. We can go to swing by a Taco Bell and get some hot sauce packets and some napkins or oh, something. Yeah. That would be hilarious. We'd be like, yo, you know, blah, blah, prize. And then just send, like, here's some sporks and napkins. And other <laughs> miscellaneous nonsense. Right. Just whatever we can get for free from fast food places. Yes. That'd be perfect. Yeah, I like that. Smart. So, yeah. Let's see catch so, up. So, All yeah, right. I mean, I so, yeah. might as well just do it anyway. And if you want to be involved, be involved. I don't know where yeah. we can set it up. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Yeah, DM us on Twitter at salty underscore language, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. All right, sounds good, man. Yeah, my end. Like you said, we'll just do it either way, even if we get zero interest. Yeah, why not? Right? We'll just cry the whole time. <laughs> yes. Just play sad Hulk music, exactly. you know. I mean, while I we're can doing pull that up. I do have that. I know, I know. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, head on over to saltylanguage.com. Click all the links. Check out the past episodes. You can find the link to the network that we're part of. Tangibound Network. It should be about it. Tangiboundnetwork.com. So please go check out the other shows over there. And if you're looking to start a new show... Um, you know, contact them about that. Uh, they're real good about helping people get going. And if you happen to talk to Mark, you know, tell him, tell him that Tony misses I him. I certainly do, bud. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, the better weather to maybe go have a stick with him. So, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. It'll happen at some point. We'll figure it out or we won't. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, either way, let's be real. It's, yeah. Like they, it'll either happen or it won't, right? Like, yeah, it's yeah. true. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. Um, if you want to reach out to us on social media, as I said before, we're on Twitter at salty underscore language. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Stunami. You can find me on uh, Instagram at the Monotony. 
You can find Salty Language at saltylanguage.com. All the links are there. You can find his video. I mean, if you're listening and you want to watch the video, you can go to Salty Language Pod on the YouTubes. You can also see our seltzer videos, some random Oculus videos I've been putting up. Totally nude. Well, yeah. psh, no one knows I'm playing the, I'm playing the Akingbo or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so it's a good, clean fun. Yeah. SaltyLanguage.com, though. I mean, honestly, that's just where it's, that's like the bee's knees right there. Yeah, that's yeah. the easiest way. Mm-hmm. Get all the things. All right. Well, until next time, uh, have a beer. You'll be fine. Oh, stay super. Oh, wait. Yeah, we got to pull up the. Yeah, we got to pull up the. Thing it's a new gimmick. Here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, stay salty, everybody. I'm pulling it up right now. Right. Here we go. Okay. Got all this waiting and dead air and geez. Oh. I think we've done this before. And Brian. Yeah. Your second fortune of today is you will become known for your generosity with your dick out. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Milady. Lady, yeah. May I offer you some dick? <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. All right. And done.